welcome back in the last lecture we have seen uh, we have seen investment models we have seen what is bot we have seen what is bot we have seen the various variants of it we have seen what is ham hybrid annuity model we have also seen epc engineering procurement construction model we have seen toll operate transfer model we have seen uh, swiss challenge we have seen so many models theek hai bahut sari cheeze we have seen we also saw we also read a very 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 good and interesting article about ppp that you know if you write these 10 points in ppp it will be done uh, your preparation is done it spoke about land acquisition issues it also spoke about uh, it also spoke about issues such as uh, financing is not there it spoke about central the tussle between central government and state government so many so many things we have uh, uh, we read in that we spoke about traffic issues we spoke about so many things right so that is a very good article i will send that across to you don't worry you will get that article you will get everything along with it if you don't get then please let me know i will send it to you personally right so um, one more thing which we need to do very important before starting with infrastructure is that i told you that i will show you a committee report called kelkar committee we had seen we have written that in the ppt also so i want you to show the kelkar committee report which is very very uh, important it is very interesting also to know the kelkar committee report okay see this see this is a very important report this also i'll be sharing it with you i have a copy of it i'll be sharing this with you okay this report summary what does this say report of the committee on revisiting and revitalizing the ppp model of infrastructure right this committee uh, which is this committee this is the committee under vijay kelkar they have submitted the report in 2015 very important report very interesting report it is on ppp public private partnership ppp model right so we'll just go through the major major recommendations of it and i'll send across this report so add that to your notes add this report to your notes as well so kya hai ki we are making a comprehensive list of resources here terms of reference see the terms of reference i'll show you terms of reference included reviewing the experience of ppp policy including the variation in contracts and difficulties experienced i hope it is very simple for you variation in contracts difficulties experience analyzing the risks involved in ppp projects in different sectors and framework of risk i'll just download this and add to the reading mode so that it will be better okay better what are the terms of reference ki what are the difficulties review the difficulties then analyzing the risks involved in different sectors proposing design modification to actual contractual arrangements proposing measures to improve capacity building etc etc revisiting ppps see the committee noted that with the current demographic transition what do you mean by demographic transition the current the people are in the people the demographic the the characteristics of people uh, is changing in india we have a very young workforce they are earning through a lot of unconventional careers now you know youtube pe people are earning money from youtube people are earning money from freelancing this was not there when uh, this was not there 20 30 40 years ago right it is important for india to mature its current model of ppp because they have to deliver they have the potential to deliver infra projects faster and better better and faster currently they focus more on fiscal benefits the committee recommended that focus should be on service delivery rather than fiscal benefits further fiscal reporting and monitoring uh, performance practices should be improved theek hai this is one so this just see we are reading this entire summary of one or two page but only one or two lines we are picking up revisiting ppps more focus on service delivery instead of fiscal consideration finish done itna hi right second involvement of a private partner to leverage financing etc etc see i am skipping this because i am going through it faster you can pause it and you can read it when if you want or you know you will get the copy as well therefore state owned enterprises or public sector undertaking should not be allowed to bid for ppp projects very important see very funny this <laughs> this is very funny the ppp model requires the involvement of a private partner to leverage financing and improve operational efficiency so you know he will operate the road he has his expert he has he is bringing in experts 
and uh, he has efficient people with him highly qualified people with him but now but now let's say government is uh, government is uh, inviting bids for ppp and a psu a public sector undertaking only bids for it then kya hoga government is again bidding indirectly in form of psu therefore state owned enterprises or psu should not be allowed to bid for ppp projects they should not be allowed to bid for ppp projects ppp should not be used by the governor government to evade its responsibility of service delivery to citizens kya yeah, this will be taken by private he is more efficient this will be taken care by private wo bhi nahi karna hai that also should not be done right this model should be adopted only after checking its viability for a project in terms of cost and risk i hope it is very simple viability in terms of cost and risk theek hai further ppp structure should not be adopted for very small projects since the benefits are not commensurate with cost commensurate means proportionate means proportionate since the benefits are not proportionate with the costs theek hai that was the first point revitalizing or redesigning ppps risk allocation and management the committee noted that inefficient and inequitable allocation of risk can be a major factor leading to failure of ppps ppp contract should ensure optimal risk allocation see this is all gyan there is nothing relevant here the same thing they are writing uh, in two sentences risk monitoring and evaluation framework should be developed bas see see this is how we take notes even when you are reading newspaper articles what is kehna kya chahte ho in this point what are they trying to say kehna kya chahte ho risk monitoring and evaluation framework hona chahiye yes or no bas simple that's it done See, this is the summary of the recommendations. So, don't think that this is the whole report and one or two page. My report is done. They have given a big report. This is the summary. Strengthening policy and governance. National PPP policy document. PPP law, if feasible. Prevention of corruption act should be amended to distinguish between genuine errors in decision making and act of corruption by public servants. So, we have this act. You will learn in ethics and governance. GS two governance part me and GS four ethics me. You will know about this act. Prevention of Corruption uh, Corruption Act 1988. Basically, any corruption by any people, especially by private, uh, sorry, especially by government servants and public representatives, they are covered under Pub Prevention of Corruption Act 1988. So now let's say uh, they allocated or sorry, they uh, awarded the bid to L N T. Suppose, suppose they allot allotted bid to L N T. And बाद में पता चला afterwards they came to know that L N T had submitted fraudulent documents or L N T was doing some fraud. or it was not eligible for the project but still some due to some reason it got awarded the project now there are two possibilities one government officials who are dealing with this they knew about this or they genuinely didn't know about this if they knew about this they should be persecuted under uh, prevention of corruption act but if they knew uh, if they did not know if they were innocent then thoda penalty ya you know you can say transfers or anything else can be done but corruption ka charge should not be there punishment should be there 100% but not for corruption for error for negligence not for corruption corruption is intentional always remember corruption is a very intentional thing negligence and error are not to be left uh, or you know are not to be left without punishment they have to be punished but the thing is ki inko uh, you have to you know take care ki they are not uh, punished for corruption error omission theek hai strengthening institutional capacity the capacity of all stakeholders including regulators authorities consultants financing agencies should be built up a national level institution should be set up for ppp independent regulators should be set up infrastructure ppp review committee must be set up see only underline these thing the infrastructure ppp review committee national level institution etc and infrastructure ppp adjudication tribunal should also be constituted char point ho gaya isme government should notify guidelines for auditing of ppps only enabling the review of government internal systems spv should follow norms of corporate governance it's very simple audit hona chahiye audit is checking examination of records and spv should follow the law strengthening contracts and this is this is a good point since infrastructure projects span over 20 30 years a private developer may lose bargaining power because of abrupt changes in the economic or policy environment sir what is the meaning of this see a government lasts for terms of 5 years let us say and and state government lasts for different terms so let us say either the central government or state government changes where the project is being implemented and it brings in new policies new rules 
वॉट द प्राइवेट पर्सन विल से प्राइवेट पर्सन विल से कि नाउ आई कैन नॉट बार्गेन बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट तो गवर्नमेंट है दे विल मेक देर ओन रूल्स दे विल मेक देर ओन रेगुलेशन राइट सो प्राइवेट प्लेयर और प्राइवेट डेवलपर मे लूज बार्गेनिंग पावर बिकॉज ऑफ एब्रप्ट चेंजेस इन द इकोनॉमिक और पॉलिसी एनवायरमेंट एब्रप्टली चेंज हो गया ठीक है द कमिटी रिकमेंडेड दैट द प्राइवेट सेक्टर मस्ट बी प्रोटेक्टेड अगेंस्ट सच लॉस ऑफ बार्गेनिंग पावर दिस कुड बी हाउ हाउ टू डू दैट This could be ensured by amending the terms of PPP contracts to allow for renegotiation. The key word here is renegotiation. So let's say if uh, let's say if tax laws change or if environmental laws change, then re uh, redraw of PPP arrangement should be done or uh, or amending uh, PPP or modification of PPP should be done. So you know renegotiation. The decision of a renegotiated concession agreement. I hope you know by now. You know what is a concession agreement. ठीक है बाय नाउ इट इज फेयरली क्लियर कंसेशन एग्रीमेंट क्या होता है कंसेशन एग्रीमेंट राइट फैंसी वर्ड कंसेशन एग्रीमेंट मस्ट बी बेस्ड ऑन फुल डिस्क्लोजर ऑफ रीनेगोशिएटेड कॉस्ट रिस्क कंपैरिजन विद द फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन एंड एग्जिस्टिंग फाइनेंस बेसिकली पूरा डिस्क्लोज करना है यू हैव टू डिस्क्लोज एवरीथिंग डन नाउ वी विल गो टू विकिपीडिया आल्सो बिकॉज़ दिस समरी डज नॉट डू जस्टिस टू द रिकमेंडेशंस ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट so if we read wikipedia we'll come to know a lot more things you'll get all this don't worry about it see we are trying to learn from genuine sources or authenticated sources see this Kelkar committee was a committee to study and evaluate the extant PPP model in India the committee was set up by India central government headed by Vijay Kelkar what are the recommendations establishment of 3p in India PPP in India cast based risk allocation formula for various project particip case based establishment of independent regulating agencies amendment in prevention of corruption act use the PPP model banks and other financial institutions be allowed to issue zero coupon bonds so you know banks and other fis ko bhi zero coupon bonds dene ki uh, give the permission now it is you know we talked about treasury bills which are in the nature of zero coupon bond number of banks in a consortium be restricted so what is a consortium i told you consortium is a big bunch it's a group so normally for a project let's say 30000 crores are required do you think one bank can give 30000 crores nahi no. many banks come together if many banks come together their policies are different their risk reward mechanisms are different their conditionalities are different ki i need repayment itna itna interest and all so bank in a consortium should be restricted ki not more than 3 financiers because see why because if the project doesn't or you know if the project doesn't work then it will affect 3 banks agar 10 banks are involved then sab ki vaat lagegi those 3 banks will also indirectly affect other banks there is no doubt about that But imagine three kg, five, seven banks are involved. Immediately, all seven banks will go down the drain. Only for large projects, create a procedure to resume stuck projects. Public sector undertaking dissuaded from uh, PPP. Constitution of PPP Project Review Committee and Adjudication Tribunal. We have seen this. Okay. So this was the Vijay Kerkar Committee report. Four five recommendations you should remember, especially with respect to. Uh, the creation of various committees renegotiation clause you know these are major things you should remember all these things now we are going to do a lot of reading together theek okay? hai this is such a topic which is just you have to read you have to know and you have to reproduce in the exam theek okay? hai so we are at point number 9 now point number 9 is sorry not investment models point number 9 is इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्या है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में वॉट इज देर इन दिलेबस एनर्जी पोर्ट्स रोड्स एयरपोर्ट्स रेलवे एक्सेट्रा बट वी सॉ एक्सेट्रा में यू कैन राइट टेलीकॉम हाउसिंग Again, etc. 
राइट सिंपल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एनर्जी पोर्ट्स रोड्स एयरपोर्ट्स रेलवे एक्सेट्रा टेलीकॉम हाउसिंग लॉजिस्टिक्स एक्सेट्रा चलो वेरी गुड वेरी सिंपल अंडरस्टूड यस सर प्लीज गो अहेड ओके आई एम गोइंग अहेड नाउ लेट अस टेक वन बाय वन लेट अस रीड वन बाय वन एंड देन आई ऑल्सो टेक यू थ्रू सम ऑफ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे टू सी जस्ट टू सी वेदर यू आर एबल टू रीड और नॉट इफ यू आर एबल टू रीड देन नेक्स्ट ईयर द कमिंग ईयर इकोनॉमिक सर्वे यू विल बी एबल टू रीड ठीक है तो let me show you one wonderful document before that how to study infrastructure what all questions do we need to answer so for all these sectors for all these sectors you need to know some basic you need to know some basic statistics okay some basic statistics ki energy means ki हमारा एनर्जी कितना मिक्स है व्हाट इज द मिक्स ऑफ कोल व्हाट इज द मिक्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी विल विल डू ऑल दैट स्टैटिस्टिक्स में सेकंड आफ्टर स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इज द करंट स्टेटस जो इसमें आ गया स्टैटिस्टिक्स मींस करंट स्टेटस सेकंड यू नो यूपीएससी फेवरेट वर्ड इशूज आई होप यू रिमेम्बर इशूज इशूज चाहिए इशूज चाहिए ठीक है देन इशूज के बाद क्या आएगा सोल्यूशंस स्कीम्स एंड ऑल एंड देन फोर्थ विल वे फॉरवर्ड कि आगे क्या करना है राइट right? ठीक है सी मेजरली मेजरली यू ओनली हैव टू कोट करंट अफेयर्स मेजरली ओनली दिस इज स्टैटिक स्टैटिक भी मतलब कि For टू थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड डेटा यू कैन रेफर सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन डेटा यू कैन रेफर ज्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ता बिकॉज दिस इज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट टेक्स टाइम टू कंस्ट्रक्ट इट टेक्स टाइम टू बिल्ड दीज इंफ्रा प्रोजेक्ट सो इट टेक्स टाइम टू चेंज द स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो इफ टूडे द शेयर ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी इज लेट से ट्वेल्व परसेंट सो इट विल नॉट बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टू मोरो इट विल टेक टाइम एवरी ईयर इट विल इंक्रीज बाई टू टू परसेंट वन टू परसेंट एस सो यू कैन राइट ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन परसेंट राइट फर्दर इन आंसर राइटिंग सेशन वेन यू कम फ्रॉम योर मेन्स Uh, sorry, when you come from your prelims for mains, when you come, we discuss in depth ki how to write the statistics, how much to write. Twelve to fourteen, likna hai ya twelve likna hai, twelve point two five likna hai ya twelve likna hai. And this is all my personal and other toppers and other students ka opinion I am giving. UPSC has never told anything. UPSC has never given any guideline about anything. Let us be very clear on that. ठीक है, so this is all based on human experiences and common sense. That is also very important. so this is current this is also current this is also current this is fairly static plus current right these are the infrastructure points now let me take you to a wonder document i call it a wonder document and uh, let us cover each and everything from there it is a government document i always cover points from there and then i will tell you some further schemes and all see schemes jo hai na schemes एनीवेज सोशल में लॉट ऑफ स्कीम्स आर कवर इन कवर्ड इन सोशल जस्टिस बिकॉज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन स्कीम्स इकोनॉमिक स्कीम्स एंड सोशल स्कीम्स बिकॉज स्कीम स्कीम होता है दे आर इंटरनेट टू बेनिफिट इकोनॉमिकली एज वेल एज सोशली सो इफ इफ अ स्कीम इज इफ देर इज एन एंटी पॉवर्टी स्कीम की पॉवर्टी कम करने के लिए इफ देर इज अ स्कीम इज दट अ सोशल स्कीम और इकोनॉमिक स्कीम बोथ यस और नो देर आर सेवरल स्कीम्स सच एज सच एज दैट so let us speak about first let us go to kya pasand hai roads let us take roads first road travel hota hai na road travel let us take road travel first so let us speak about roads first i am not going to write anything much here because we are going to read directly from a government source self explanatory very good hai usme hi you have to keep on adding whatever news may keeps on coming and then wo ek infrastructure ka you will get a nice set of notes ठीक है, राइट रोड वी विल स्टार्ट विथ रोड सो वॉट डू यू थिंक आर इशूज इन रोड चलो करंट स्टेटस एंड ऑल यूल गेट इन सर्वे एंड ऑल डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दो थिंग्स बट वेन सर्वे कम्स यूल गेट करंट स्टेटस मोर मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट रोड दैट इज माई क्वेश्चन और वॉट इशूज डू यू थिंक वी हैव इन जोग्राफी इन ह्यूमन जोग्राफी एनसीआर टी यू विल नो दैट देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रोड स्टेट हाईवे नेशनल हाईवे रूरल रोड कनेक्टिंग रोड इंटरनल रोड ऑल दीज वो क्या बोलते हैं उसको 
there's one more type of roads i'm not able to recollect now so these are various types of roads is given in ncert don't worry roads what are the issues of roads what do you think chalo aapke hisab se as a consumer what road what issues do you face in roads potholes i hope potholes khadde which leads to why is it bad accidents right so instead of potholes i would say accidents are the major issue second quality of roads wo potholes se related hai but i am talking about the cheap quality of materials used might not be pothole abhi nahi hua hai but susceptible in the future so quality much bigger issue then potholes potholes is just one offshoot of quality what other things do you know uh, road mein kya hota hai traffic traffic is a very big issue you know people people travel in in almost all metros bangalore mumbai delhi kolkata anywhere people travel for 2 hours to reach 2 kilo 20 kilometers 2 hours they take to reach 20 kilometers theek hai 10 kilometer per hour ki speed se which means they are practically walking or you know jogging in vehicle they reach uh, they take 2 hours to reach 20 kilometers in mumbai delhi gurgaon side same 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 halat What else can you think about roads? Traffic हो गया, quality, accidents and all those things are happening. Um, now think from government side. So government does it want to construct roads or it doesn't want to construct road? It wants to construct roads. ठीक है? So the pace of road construction also matters. Pace of road construction. For from government angle, pace of road construction. So these are the issues which we can commonly identify. now let us see what issues government thinks are issues let us study from one wonderful wonderful document this document is given by niti aayog it is called india at 75 75 years of age india surface transport oh See what is the objective of surface transport? We'll read this. Increasing the coverage and quality of roads and highways is critical to enhancing connectivity. By 22-23, we achieve the we should achieve the following objectives. Increase the connectivity. हो गया. What is Bharat Mala? We will speak about it. So Bharat Mala is now Bharat Mala is a huge program to connect India to connect various places in India with roads. Bharat Mala. ठीक है सिमिलरली वी हैव सागर माला नाउ यू ओनली इमेजिन व्हाट वुड बी सागर माला सागर माला इज टू कनेक्ट द पोर्ट्स एंड विद विद यू नो प्रॉपर इंडस्ट्रीज कनेक्ट टू द पोर्ट्स सो व्हेन इंडस्ट्री प्रोड्यूसेस समथिंग पोर्ट शुड बी एक्सेसिबल एंड व्हेन इंडस्ट्री प्रोड्यूसेस समथिंग ऐसा नहीं है कि इट हैज टू ट्रैवल थ्रू आउट द सिटी ट्रैफिक में एंड देन पोर्ट पे पहुंचा वो चार दिन उसमें ही लग जाएगा फोर डेज इन दैट थिंग एंड देन इट विल लीड टू एडिशनल कॉस्ट्स i hope you are understanding i hope you are getting this increasing connectivity by expanding the road network bharat mala phase 1 target 24800 km including 2000 km of coastal and port connectivity roads so first scheme we know about is bharat mala read about bharat mala we cannot cover in detail in bharat mala because it is a big scheme read about the scheme read about the features you have to do it but my job is to tell you that it is related to road sector it is related to construction of roads and achieving connectivity road connectivity in india this is bharat mala second scheme pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana now this is a name in the name itself it is seen gram sadak yojana what is gram gram means village rural so gram sadak yojana the aim of this scheme is to provide all weather road connectivity to rural areas to under connected and unconnected rural areas theek okay? hai that is the aim and objective of this scheme pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana so see Uh, normally what happens is schemes ke naam you have to write in mains and questions if they come they will they will be asking on schemes which are in news or schemes which are newly launched either an old scheme which is in news wo to you will prepare from newspaper and other monthly compilation or schemes which are newly launched that also will come in newspaper and uh, you will complete it uh, from monthly compilation you will cover it So, ये हो गया वॉट अबाउट द ओल्ड स्कीम्स विच आर नॉट इन न्यूज यू ओनली हैव टू नो देम फॉर प्रिलिम्स परस्पेक्टिव मेन्स में रेयरली और इन मेन्स यू हैव टू यूज दोज वर्ड्स दोज नेम्स टू मैंशन द स्कीम्स नो बडी विल आस्क यू प्रोज एंड कॉन्स और फीचर्स और 
performance of the scheme unless it is in news if it is in news then yes for example uh, gold monetization scheme question was asked in 2015 15 or 16 it was it was launched just 6 months back before the exam just 6 months before the exam gold monetization scheme was launched so it asked this question directly okay similarly gram sadak yojana is a scheme to provide all weather road connectivity to uh, under connected and unconnected rural areas okay so this is the objective what is the next objective double the length of national highways to 2 lakh kilometers from existing 1.22 lakhs right see if you by heart these things na numbers even if you remember roughly 1 lakh to 2 lakh that's it your answers would be very good any question asking you about road sector your answer is this i am not even i am not even uh, i am not taking answer writing now because there are different things so how to write introduction and all those are theek hai but just you have to read this very important see use the words they are using bharat mala pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana enhancing connectivity internal and external trade so we never think highways as uh, you know highways for boosting trade we think yeah highway we are traveling we are going to work but it boosts trade na if a thing from delhi to mumbai comes within a day then from mumbai ports say it can directly be exported and if customers in usa get those goods early on and the quality is good the price is reasonable they will keep demanding instead if you take 10 days to from to deliver from delhi to mumbai by road kya hoga wo nahi mangega right and both internal and external trade na internal trade bhi to hamper hoga within india right improve the regulatory sorry widen single intermediate lane national highways and reduce the length of those to less than 10% so this word is important see every word you don't have to buy hard not at all required not required na na right widen single intermediate lane national highways and reduce them improve regulatory framework which is fine signatory to brasilia declaration brasilia declaration was signed on road safety sorry current affairs tha it was signed in somewhere around 2015 or 16 if i am not wrong brasilia declaration was signed on road safety theek hai to reduce the number of road accidents and fatalities by 50% by 2020 now 2020 to chala gaya theek hai so what you should write in your answers is or how you should know this is remove this date we have to reduce our road accident fatality fatalities as per brasilia declaration simple don't mention the date see content is relevant you have to use it on your own um, you have to be smart enough to use it like you want total number of registered vehicles in india no need to remember stats ha huh? i am telling you now only current situation kya hai current situation the road sector in india accounts for the largest share in the movement of both passengers and freight oh oh, oh stats done your answer ka beginning you got road sector in india accounts for the largest share in the movement of both passengers and freight freight means goods mal cargo driven by a rapidly growing economy vehicle finance demand for mobility has risen continuously total number of registered vehicles has increased what are the problems quality of public transportation is wrong expansion of transport fleets has been hampered etc what is the constraint chalo what is the constraint i am i am expecting you will read this i am expecting you will read this since we are short of time we are um, going ahead what is the capacity of existing highways the existing highways length is itna so what is the constraint capacity of existing highway is a constraint national and state highways are already overstrained carrying more than 65% of road traffic national highways carry 40% of india's total road traffic you will not get any better content anywhere any book or you know if those books are there they have copied content from your only better to read from your and then book me dekh lo kuch aur diya hai to some schemes would be given read it from there but this is the core content again don't remember all these stats just read what they are trying to say capacity of existing highways is constrained jagah nahi hai traffic jam they are talking about traffic jam maintenance of existing infrastructure potholes maintain nahi ho raha hai that is the second issue now accidents and safety concerns we spoke about accidents they have given some stats also india had an accident rate of 18 for every 1 lakh people which is much higher than south asian countries such as bangladesh mauritius sri lanka 
एंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस इज बिकॉज पुअर क्वालिटी ऑफ रोड सी ड्राइवर की गलती से भी एक्सीडेंट होता है यू नो एक्सीडेंट का कॉज ड्यू टू ड्राइवर मिस्टेक्स ऑल्सो दे आर ड्रंक ड्रंक ड्राइविंग एंड ऑल दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन इंक्लूड की एक्सीडेंट्स एंड सेफ्टी कंसर्न हैपन ड्यू टू पुअर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक पॉट होल्स स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग नहीं है एक्सीडेंट्स हो जाता है और ड्यू टू मैन्यूअल एरर ठीक है कॉस्ट एस्केलेशन फॉर रोड्स कॉस्टलियर बन रहा है रोड्स का वॉट इज द वे फॉरवर्ड वॉट आर द वॉट आर द सोल्यूशन दैट वी नीड टू डू सो वी आर नाउ इंडिंग द रोड सेक्टर सी आई होप इट इज वेरी कंसाइज एंड वेरी क्रिस्प सी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रोड्स एयरपोर्ट रेलवे सी इमेजिन रोड इज वन स्मॉल पॉइंट ऑफ वन सिलेबस पॉइंट ऑफ जी एस थ्री पेपर ऑफ टोटल सेवन पेपर यू हैव इन द एग्जाम ठीक है एंड फ्रॉम रोड स्पेसिफिकली वन क्वेश्चन विल कम एवरी फोर फाइव ईयर्स स्पेसिफिकली एंड सेम गोज फॉर अदर्स ऑल्सो एनर्जी इज बिग बिकॉज एनर्जी हैज अ लॉट ऑफ सब पार्ट थर्मल एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कन्वेंशनल नॉन कन्वेंशनल अदर टाइप्स ऑफ एनर्जी ठीक है सो गिव उतना ही टाइम टू दीज पॉइंट जितना क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग इन द एग्जाम If questions on uh, monetary policy are coming, then give more time to monetary policy. If questions or schemes are coming, give more time to schemes. Okay, so this is very crisp. This is more than enough, huh? but more than enough for knowing the current situation. So this will bring you current at the beginning of the race. Newspapers will pull you ahead, and economic survey. Oh, to hey, oh to major major document. Huh. What is the first solution? Increase connectivity by expanding the road network. You have to increase your roads, hundred percent. Increase not only in terms of width or per road size, but also in terms of number of roads. First, Bharat Mala Pari Yojana you should complete. Special accredited accelerated road development program for North East region. So North East के लिए we have a separate program. North East road connectivity. Four Dham. ये तो ठीक है ignore. So whichever is very small and very localized, just ignore that. इंस्टीट्यूशनल स्ट्रेंथनिंग करो अ डेडिकेटेड मेट्रो मेट्रोपोलिटन अर्बन ट्रांसपोर्ट अथॉरिटी नीड सिटी सो मेनी सिटीज हैव मेड दिस अथॉरिटी सम मेनी सिटीज हैव नॉट मेड ठीक है मेनी सिटीज हैव स्टार्टेड मेकिंग दिस विद डिफरेंट नेम सो इट इज कॉल्ड यू एम टी अर्बन मेट्रोपोलिटन ट्रांसपोर्ट अथॉरिटी इन महाराष्ट्र ठीक है इन पुणे राइट सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड रिकमेंडेशन मेट्रोपोलिटन अर्बन ट्रांसपोर्ट अथॉरिटी set up dedicated cells for integrated planning then what is the second first was ki you have to improve the road connectivity second improve road maintenance by how how will you uh, improve maintenance by a separate maintenance management system how where will funds come from earmark funds from central road fund for maintenance activities at least 10% of its annual budget should go for roads and move towards developed country norm of 40 to 50% of the budget for roads and highways maintenance theek hai so they are saying at least 10% do kharcha on roads then you can move to 30 40 50% 50%. 50 heavy penalties on contracts for poor operation and maintenance if they are not operating properly then penalty lagao us pe see this is very self explanatory i don't need to explain you these things but i am going through it because if a technical term if a scheme name comes so that i will be there uh, to you know guide you black spots very important word black spots these are black spots these are not black heads which are normally found on you know face and nose these are black spots not of the skin but of roads you know what are black spots black spots are accident prone spots when we go out on tours and all we see na ki a steep turn ahead or don't break too much accident prone area those are all black spots around the country so we currently have 700 800 black spots wo eliminate karo theek hai by constructing flyovers or you know by uh, diverting the roads and all whatever you don't have to study or you don't have to write in detail itna but just the keywords are important streamline land acquisition very 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 important land acquisition if you you cannot improve or you cannot improve uh, or extend the connectivity of your roads if if you don't have land for it theek okay? hai so streamline land acquisition then skill development 
you will need good quality engineers you will need good quality road uh, road uh, this thing road uh, constructing people you will need good quality drivers also right train commercial vehicle drivers enjoy stringent testing of driving skills increase emphasis on research and development obviously research and development why research and development new styles of um, what do we say new styles of uh, pothole management system new styles of accident prevention systems new style new styles of smart um, vehicle tracking system you know if there is an accident then how to track that vehicle kahan ja raha hai kaisa kya chal raha hai all those all those things are very important just a minute ha huh? are you getting this this is very 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 important so see the way they are writing see don't go deep in one point mat jao don't go don't do that but see the way they are writing this that is very important increase connectivity so if you want if you want to take notes out of this my one humble suggestion would be just take notes of the first point and just one one word from each so isse scheme ka naam aa gaya improve implementation capacity of pwd that's it dedicated muta that's it don't don't forget about the uh, targets ki by 2023 it will be needed or you know one we need in each city by 2023 wo nahi puch wo nahi we are not concerned with that think that someone has asked you ki in a normal space in a chota sa space write about the issues of road sector so kya karoge you will just write the key points ek 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 important word you will weigh every word and you will write theek hai wo karna hai yahan Sir, what is this and all? We'll cover this in land reforms. Okay, increase emphasis on research and development. Increase the capacity and reach of public transport. Public transport is also very very important. I hope you agree to this. So, increase how to increase the capacity of public transport funding and all. So, Vahan Sarathi, these are two softwares. The uske baare mein diya hua hai. Expand the reach of electronic toll collection. I hope you know fast tag. fast tag to avoid traffic jams we have a concept of fast tag you know it is an rfid based sticker which goes on your windscreen and the reader at the toll plaza automatically reads it and you are allowed to just slow down and scan and pass through without stopping targets for rural connectivity should be completed increase it adoption and seamless movement of different modes of transport so it is called integrated transport planning you know it is called ki the moment you step out of the metro you should have access to either a railway train or a public uh, bus or uh, another metro so public transport hona chahiye you should have access to public transport or taxi or taxi not uber wala taxi but the government taxi you should have that public transport access the moment you step out of a cab you should know that there is a nearby metro station or railway station or bus stop that is how you you know uh, you ensure seamless movement between different modes of transport डन रोड्स में ज्यादा नहीं है डोंट डोंट फ्रेट ओवर रोड्स मच इनफैक्ट दिस पॉइंट इज जस्ट अ कलेक्शन ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स दिस स्मॉल 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 पॉइंट्स मेक दिस एंटायर बिग सिलेबस पॉइंट लेट अस गो फॉर रेलवे सिंस इट इज हियर वील गो फॉर रेलवे वेरी क्विकली इंडिया शुड हैव अ रेल नेटवर्क दैट इज नॉट ओनली एफिशिएंट रिलायबल एंड सेफ बट इज आल्सो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड एक्सेसिबल both with respect to the movement of people and goods so kya chahiye railway mein see again like road also railway also has certain issues capacity would be an issue speed would be an issue ki you know uh, if there are lot of so imagine there are lot of trains but less tracks then kya hoga per train the speed will reduce because tracks are only 100 kilometers and then us pe char train hai tomorrow there are eight trains running on those tracks so speed will reduce because traffic clearance and all of these things will take time so what we have to do we have to increase the tracks also along with the trains not only trains tracks bhi badhana hai achieve 100% electrification what is broad gauge broad gauge is the width between the two tracks have you gone to uh, any amusement park or anything where there is a toy train toy train ka tracks are very narrow they are called narrow gauge there are different types of gauge standard gauge broad gauge narrow gauge theek hai 
सर हाउ डू यू नो ऑल दिस इट इज गिवन इन जोग्राफी एनसीआर टी सर ह्यूमन जोग्राफी ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड एनसीआर टी ब्रॉड गेज नैरो गेज एंड ऑल ब्रॉड गेज आर द मोस्ट ब्रॉड एंड दे आर द फास्टेस्ट दे आर द स्टर्डीएस्ट दे आर द फास्टेस्ट सो दे कैन टेक ट्रेन ऑफ हाई लोड एट हाई स्पीड सो वी नीड मैक्सिम ब्रॉड गेज और नैरो गेज वी नीड मैक्सिम ब्रॉड गेज दैट इज वाई दो टॉय ट्रेन आर स्मॉल एंड लेस कैपेसिटी एंड फॉर चिल्ड्रेन बेसिकली मेनली फॉर चिल्ड्रेन टॉय ट्रेन इज इन माथेरान ऑल्सो वेरी फेमस टॉय ट्रेन राइट इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन करना है इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन वाई बिकॉज कोल इज कॉस्टली कोल इज पॉल्यूटिंग कोल इज लेस एफिशियंट देन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन करना है एवरेज स्पीड बढ़ानी है इंक्रीज द एवरेज स्पीड इंप्रूव द सेफ्टी ऑफ रेलवे सेफ्टी रेलवे क्रैश थी वेन मोटर वेन कार्स क्रैश नॉर्मली द पीपल इन्वॉल्व इन कार्स और बाइक्स और एनी वेज दे है दे हैव अ डेंजर और सम नियर बाय पेडिस्टेंस when train crashes when train derails entire bogey two bogey three bogeys or entire train derails so there is a much bigger risk here service delivery on time arrival train mein punctuality is the worst we know that long distance trains uh, start on time but never or almost never arrive on time in india so punctuality is very uh, punctuality is very important this is a very important point increase the share of non fair revenues in total revenue to 20% what is the meaning of this normal english kya hai non fair revenues which means revenue railway is also you know in the business of earning money theek hai right so railway is also uh, railway is also uh, waiting for this ओके हाँ सो रेलवे इज ऑल्सो नाउ वेटिंग फॉर यू नो कभी रेवेन्यू बढ़ेगा कभी प्रॉफिट होगा जस्ट इन केस सो दैट इज फेयर रेवेन्यू विच इट गेट्स फ्रॉम टिकट्स द टिकट विच वी टेक एंड फेयर रेवेन्यू इज कैटेगराइज इन टू टू पार्ट पैसेंजर फेयर एंड फ्रेट फेयर गुड्स माल उसका फेयर वॉट अबाउट नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यू वॉट कैन यू थिंक अबाउट नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यू सोर्सेस डू यू नो एनी नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यू सोर्स और can you think of any source of revenue which railways earn but not from ticket sales did you notice railways run a lot of advertisements also there are advertisements on the railway stations there are advertisements sometimes on the railways itself inside the trains also sometimes there are advertisements i'm not talking about the ads which are placed on officially or illegally legally officially there are ads which are placed do you know on railway stations you have catering also there are stalls where you can eat वो सब रेलवे इज नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यू सो इंक्रीज द शेयर ऑफ नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यू इन टोटल रेवेन्यू टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नेक्स्ट करंट सिचुएशन करंटली इंडिया इज द फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क इन द वर्ल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ रूट किलोमीटर फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑल्सो द लार्जेस्ट पैसेंजर एंड फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट फ्रेड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन रेलवे सिस्टम ग्लोबली जस्ट इमेजिन द स्टेटिस्टिक्स पैसेंजर सिस्टम फ्रेट सिस्टम कितना ज्यादा है हाउ मच यू नो इट्स सो ह्यूज सी दिस इन एफ आई सेवेंटीन इतने पैसेंजर ट्रेन कैरिड ओवर इतने पैसेंजर्स डेली दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंटायर पॉपुलेशन डेली वी आर कैरिंग सो मेनी पीपल डेली इक्वल टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया पॉपुलेशन हम पूरा ऑस्ट्रेलिया यहां से वहां लेके जा रहे हैं what are the issues now despite its extensive reach and substantial growth in freight load modal share modal 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 shares it is not model notice that it is modal 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 share what do you mean by modal share modal share of railways in the transportation so there are various modes of transport either you can go by road either you can go by air either you can go by rail either you can go by waterways also so har ek ka share is called as modal share by which mode of transport are you going that is why the word is modal so let's say if total 100 people go from place a to place b 30 people take the road theek hai rest all take other thing so roads modal share is 30% because total movement mein 30% has been contributed by roads yes or no so modal share is always calculated by the mode of transport so modal share of railways in transportation has declined from 86% to 33% why 
ड्यू टू शॉर्ट फॉल इन कैरिंग कैपेसिटी एंड लैक ऑफ प्राइस कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस इंडियन रेलवे गोल्डन क्वार्टरल एंड इट्स डायग्नस आई होप यू नो गोल्डन क्वार्टरल एटल प्लीज रीड एनसीआर इट इज ऑल गिवन इन ह्यूमन जोग्राफी इज ऑल ह्यूमन जोग्राफी रेलवे रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज ऑल गिवन इन ह्यूमन जोग्राफी ओके प्लीज रीड जोग्राफी एनसीआर गोल्डन क्वार्टरल एटल के बारे में दिया हुआ है हाई सैचुरेशन एंड सुसीरियस makes up only 15% of total route of railways but it transports 52% of passenger traffic high saturation and over utilized capacity on popular routes mumbai delhi route very highly saturated be it road be it train be it airways very highly saturated high saturated matlab if you pick up 100 people going on a flight in mumbai airport 30 40% minimum to will be going to delhi usse bhi zyada hi hai and regularly you know there are people who fly weekly between mumbai and delhi कि वीकेंड दे विल गो टू डेली और मुंबई टू स्टे विद फैमिली एंड वीक डेज दे विल गो टू डेली और मुंबई वेर एवर देर ऑफिस होता है लुक एट मी आई एम यूर फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज फ्रॉम मुंबई आई हैव कम यूर नाउ अगेन आई विल गो बैक टू मुंबई हाईली सैचुरेटेड हाईली सैचुरेटेड रूट हाई सैचुरेशन ओवर यूटिलाइज कैपेसिटी Expenditure has declined. Investment has declined, despite its contribution to the overall economy. Under investment in the sector has crippled operations. What are the constraints? Congested networks. Simple. Sixty percent plus routes being more than hundred percent utilized. We have all seen people hanging from trains. We have seen those photos. We have seen those pictures, right? 60% plus routes being more than 100% utilized leading to a reduction in average speed of passenger and freight trains very important point organizational structure i'll explain what is organizational structure see the way what was the or organizational structure in school principal vice principal then senior teachers then junior teachers and then support staff administrative staff peons and all of that that is known as organizational structure how is your organization structured that is very important theek hai how is your organization structured so similarly organization structure causes delays in decision making does approval lene why to uh, to you know raise one stall of food on a station on one station to establish one food stall you have to take 10 approvals of 10 head of department कैसे चलेगा हाउ विल इट बी एफिशिएंट एंड प्रॉफिटेबल लॉन्ग प्रोजेक्ट अप्रूवल ड्यूरेशन लगता है इंटरनल जनरेशन ऑफ सोर्सेस वही वही वॉट एवर आई टोल्ड यू नॉन फेयर नॉन फेयर नेग्लिजिबल नॉन फेयर रेवेन्यूज हाई फ्रेड टैरिफ टू सब ऑप्टिमल फ्रेड शेयर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू समथिंग विच हैपन्स यूर यू कैन राइट इट यू कैन राइट इट in this document only i don't know whether it is there here or somewhere it is there i am going to tell you something which is the concept is the concept is cross subsidization now what is cross subsidization railway ka railway sells tickets to mainly two types of customers one passengers yes or no chalo one passengers two freight don't say goods say freight theek hai one passengers two freight now what happens is my question is very simple to you what do you think is high Freight cost is high or passenger cost is high. What do you think? The tariff for going from place A to place B is freight cost high, or you know, ticket cost for freight is higher or for passengers is higher. Bear in mind, you have to write this in this document only. If you are making notes out of this document, then write this word there. You can pause and you can write. वो करना है आपको. You have to do. उतना मेहनत तो you have to do. ठीक है? What do you think? ये ज्यादा होगा कॉस्ट की ये ज्यादा होगा एंड ऑब्वियसली जो कॉस्ट ज्यादा होगा पीपल और प्रोड्यूसर्स वुड बी लेसर इनक्लाइन टू यूज दैट सर्विसेज 
सिंपल है इफ यू इंक्रीज द टिकट प्राइस इज टू थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज फ्रॉम सी यू नो मुंबई टू डेली फर्स्ट क्लास टिकट इन राजधानी एक्सप्रेस कॉस्ट फोर थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज इससे अच्छा प्लेन ना ले ले फ्लाइट से ना चले जाए फ्लाइट कॉस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड रेलवे कॉस्ट फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज रेलवे टेक्स फोर्टीन आवर्स फिफ्टीन आवर्स राजधानी एक्सप्रेस फ्लाइट टेक्स टू एंड हाफ आवर्स प्लस वन आवर फॉर चेक इन चेकआउट सब कुछ मिला के चलो फोर आवर्स ले लो टेन आवर्स यू आर सेविंग एंड वन थाउजेंड रुपीज यू आर सेविंग ठीक है सो नो बडी विल डिमांड क्वेश्चन बींग पैसेंजर्स ज्यादा है या फ्रेट ज्यादा है कॉस्ट कॉस्ट इज हाई इन फ्रेट फ्रेट सेगमेंट या पैसेंजर सेगमेंट कॉस्ट इज ऑलवेज हाई इन फ्रेट सेगमेंट सर वाई दिस हु गिव वोट फ्रेट पीपल आर नॉर्मली बिजनेसमैन इंपोर्टर्स एक्सपोर्टर्स राइट इन दर रोल एज इम्पोर्टर्स एज इम्पोर्टर्स एंड एक्सपोर्टर्स दे डोंट गिव वोट्स इन दर रोल एज नॉर्मल पैसेंजर्स दे गिव वोट्स ये सो नो to appease the voters what do you think fare for passengers should be kept high or low fare for passengers should be kept very low why and plus we have social obligations also there are poor people who earn less than 50 rupees per day who earn you know 30 rupees 20 30 rupees they make per day so we have to keep fare low also for them but ultimately see we are economists here ultimately loss ho raha hai it is causing a massive bleeding in railways bleeding of money right so now to compensate this what is to be done what is the second source of revenue passengers uh, sorry freight freight bada do freight bada do so you what you are doing is you are subsidizing passengers by charging higher from freight people yes or no is it simple is it fairly understood you are subsidizing passengers by charging higher cost or higher price from freight people up freight walon se leke passengers ka you know you are keeping the cost low you are not giving passengers anything but you are giving them low prices this is called cross subsidization cross subsidization he is ultimately paying for him ultimately freight if you are a businessman if you want to send goods from delhi to bombay or mumbai you are paying a higher price than what is reasonable and that higher price is compensating for your travel from delhi to mumbai as a passenger you are the same person chalo but as a role in the role of a trader you are paying more in the role of a passenger you are paying less this is called as cross subsidization the same thing happens in electricity also residential tariffs residential electricity tariffs ghar pe hum electricity we pay the bill residential electricity tariffs are amongst the lowest in the world just imagine Amongst the lowest in the world, residential electricity tariffs are amongst the lowest in the world. India me, they are among the lowest in the world. Indian residential tariffs. Who do you think pays the brunt for that? Commercial tariffs, warehouses, industries, companies, they have to pay commercial tariffs. So their tariffs are norm normally higher than normal commercial tariffs, and residential tariffs are lower than normal residential tariffs. cross subsidizing okay simple safety and poor quality of service kuch bolne ki zarurat nahi hai poor cleanliness of train stations etc you should read this efficiency of terminals terminals also loading me You know, mal a gaya on the train station. You have this big box, but loading me time gaya, packing me time gaya. You know, quality check me time gaya. That is also causing delay. Economies of scale. Better, what 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 should be done now for railways? What should be done? Better utilization of existing infrastructure to address congestion. How? prioritize ongoing projects timely complete these projects ensure that dedicated freight corridors and uh, bullet train mumbai ahmedabad high speed rail is known as bullet train commonly known as bullet train na mumbai ahmedabad high speed train it is nothing but bullet train ensure that bullet train is completed on a timely basis but this is not happening now so what is dedicated freight corridors dedicated freight corridors are two corridors one western one eastern we are constructing railway corridors ki only railway line 
from Delhi to north to west, from JNPT, from uh, Dadri in UP to JNPT in Mumbai, a railway line chalegi, only dedicated for goods, dedicated for goods only, nothing else. Same, there is an eastern line also from Punjab to Bengal. Okay. So, they should be completed on a timely basis. See, if, if they are dedicated for freight, then obviously passenger traffic will not affect them, passenger trains will not affect them. We will speak about dedicated freight corridors and all in general also. Is organizational rigidity through structural reforms. Make organization flexible. Thus, logo approval ki zarat nahi hai. Two people approved, it is fine. Make it more flexible. See, this goes into organization theory. How well you run an organization, how effectively you run an organization depends on the balance between rigidity and flexibility you have. See your parents. Sometimes they are very rigid, strict. Hai. Sometimes they are flexible. Too rigid and too flexible is not good. Similarly, for an organization also, being too rigid and too flexible is not good. What is third? See, these are in detail, huh? yes, detail mein diya hua hai. considering transferring coach and locomotive manufacturer, manufacturing and repairs to private players, etc. etc. Rationalize fair structures and subsidies and monetize assets to generate revenues. Rationalize fair structures. Bola hai. क्या बोला है rationalize fair structures rationalize fair structures revisit Indian Railways pricing model to make passenger and freight segment sustainable freight tariffs should be competitive with the cost of road transportation yes or no freight tariffs should be competitive with the cost of road transportation Rail Development Authority has been already established. They are saying expedite the process of establishing Rail Development Authority. Rail Development Authority is already established. You can get information about it from the books. So, I will tell you what is it exactly. Rail Development Authority will decide on the prices, will decide on the fares. Ki kitne hone chahiye. will recommend ki how much fares should be there and how much uh, uh, revenue should be generated. For making informed decisions on an integrated, transparent and dynamic pricing mechanism to determine rail fares and rebalance the passenger and freight categories to improve efficiency and rebalance the modal mix of goods transport. It is a very big sentence but a very simple sentence to understand. Barabara, expedite the process of establishing Rail Development Authority already approved by the government, this has been established also and then dynamic pricing and all. Monetize land resources, railway is having khali land, monetize karo, give it on rent, sell it away, khali land hai. increase retail revenues, retail revenues, invite people to set up stall on railway or near railway land and all, sab kuch karo. And then safety of trains to reduce accidents and modernize stations. Government has created Rashtriya Rail Samraksha Coach to address critical safety related issues. Crossings, railway crossings, hote na, fatak, fatak, try to eliminate that, that causes, that causes accidents plus that causes uh, railway speed to be slow, instead construct bridges. Railway niche se, aap upar se, vehicle upar se, simple. Upgrade and ensure smooth functioning, redevelop railway station. See, what detail mein hai, this isn't too much detail. You should have 5-6 good points for every infrastructure point. Roads ho gaya, railways ho gaya. You should have 5-6 good points. That is my humble request. 5-6 good points kar lo, more than enough. Theek hai, 5-6 good points. Enhance the ease of doing business.
ease of doing business means what ease of doing business see the name suggests ease of doing business this is very very important world bank releases ease of doing business index okay world bank releases ease of doing business index how easy it is for you to do business ease of doing business what do you think if you are an investor if you are a businessman let's say you want to start your own business in africa what what all will you think and what all will you take for starting your business in africa kya lagega aapko you will require how easy it is to get government permit how easy it is to get electricity how easy it is to get construction permit how easy it is to get money bank credit how easy it is to get uh, foreign fund foreign funding etc 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 all that contributes to ease of doing business you will read in current affairs about ease of doing business it comes every year don't worry so switch to common transport documents which are internationally accepted india ka alag hi version of documents kyu nikal rahe ho switch to internationally formats so that if they are uploaded online or you know throughout the states they are the same format ek hi format throughout the world throughout your your country also isse time bachega reduce the number of people inspecting your goods number of times your goods are inspected two inspections one two inspections fine why inspect the goods five times business see we are thinking economically bas new freight terminals improve terminal efficiency set up an independent regulator for indian railways exactly the rda ke bare mein bola hai rail development authority we spoke about it take decisions protect consumer help attract investment etc samjha is it fairly clear see if i go to teach you in detail if we discuss everything in detail every sector will take two lectures every sector roads will take two lectures railways will take two lectures civil aviation will take two lectures this is not required question nahi aate na itne is pe always remember when you are reading something keep a track of questions which are come in keep a track of the relevance of the topic which you are reading okay if questions are not that uh, demanding or even if they are if they can be solved by reading current affairs and newspapers then just think about it ki is it really worth it to go into depth but this is a one stop shop document for all the infra sectors that we have plus economic survey plus newspapers and you don't have to read anything else book se dekhna ek bar dekh lo but this is the major thing some of you must have traveled by aeroplane or flight some of you must not have yet you will you will don't worry with the way a uh, proliferation of air travel is increasing amongst indians you will at some point of time you will definitely travel by air you will travel by air to give your upsc interview if you are not in delhi if you are in delhi then to aapko cab se jana padega or you will travel by air for your upsc interview if if uh, there is pandemic you will travel by air if there is no pandemic then upsc will reimburse you your train fare but you know interview may to save time and all you mostly you will travel by air only you will prefer to travel by air ya kisi ki shaadi hai you know occasions are many reasons are many you will travel by air theek hai civil aviation see they are not telling about military aviation they are not talking about military or defense aviation right it is civil aviation हमारा आपका सबका कमर्शियल फ्लाइंग वॉट आर द मेन इशूज डू यू थिंक एविएशन में क्या लगता है जस्ट टेक अ गेस वॉट आर द मेन इशूज इन एविएशन बिफोर रीडिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स जस्ट ट्राई एंड थिंक क्या हो सकता है मेन इशूज फेयर फेयर आर चीप ट्रस्ट मी फेयर आर नॉट दैट एक्सपेंसिव फेयर आर चीप और क्या इशू है प्लेन में सेफ्टी इज एन इशू ये सेफ्टी इज एन इशू failure and all maintenance of planes is an issue yes maintenance of planes is a very important issue parking space at airports hangars congested airports traffic yahan pe bhi traffic hota hai so i'll tell you when i was going to gujarat for some work when i was going to gujarat for some work i was i caught uh, i caught the flight from uh, mumbai 
and uh, I was in the plane. I'll tell you, I'm not joking. Ye runway hai. Here are all the flights, let's say standing flights. Hote na pe. This is the runway. So, flight never goes to the runway directly. Ek pura access path hota hai. So, let's say there is a big access path, and then you come here, and then yahan se you fly. Hai? Yahan se you fly. Yahan pe bhi flights hai. Obviously, flights are there everywhere. Yahan pe bhi hai. Mumbai airport is a big, big, huge airport. So, my flight was aise gai, 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 gai. it came here and it was standing here. Hai? So, mere aage there was one flight and two flight. This was going to take off. Iske piche ek thi, iske piche ek thi. I just saw behind me how many throughout the through the window I saw this line was entirely full. Kaha gaya ye? This line was entirely full with hardly any space between them. Traffic, huge traffic and there are two airports which have the maximum traffic in India and I am sure you must have guessed it by now, Mumbai and Delhi. IGI, Indira Gandhi International Airport, to bahut sara hai because international flights, international traffic is also there and Mumbai uh, airport, Chhatrapati Shivaji International, CSIA, it's also very, very, very busy. So, what are we We are going to see what we are We are at civil aviation. Enhance the affordability is an objective. Air cargo is also there. Air cargo, same thing which applies to railways, applies to uh, Civil aviation also, na? air cargo, air cargo. Expand the maintenance, repair and overhaul industry, MRO bolte hai usko, it is known as MRO. Maintenance, repair and overhaul industry, maintenance industry hoti hai na, maintenance. Maintenance industry. Expand airport capacity more than five times to handle one billion trips a year. Capacity you have to improve. Affordability of regional, this is the most important point in civil aviation. Connectivity to rural areas or connectivity to under connected areas. Regional areas, sorry not rural, regional areas. Affordability of regional air connectivity. And revive, upgrade airports and helipads, helicopter connectivity and aeroplane connectivity. And we have this scheme called RCS Udan. Regional connectivity scheme, Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagrik. There is a scheme, this is a, this scheme is called as Regional Connectivity Scheme, Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagrik, RCS Udan. Ensure that airport tariffs, taxes on fuel, landing charges, passenger services, cargo and other charges are determined in an efficient and transparent manner. Taxes on fuel, aviation turbine fuel, hota hai, aeroplane fuel, hota hai, taxes on fuel, all of them are, uh, they should be levied in a very transparent manner. Current situation. India's domestic tariff made up 69% of airline traffic in South Asia, not that important. Okay. See, international passengers as they grow, huye. domestic passengers as they grow. Huye. Freight ke baare mein diya hai. Right? See, civil aviation, mein you don't need to know the details. Civil aviation, mein the data is not that important. The issues, see, four, five issues and four, five solutions. Bas, that's it. In every syllabus topic, three, four, three, four issues, three, four, three, four syllabus points done, finished, khatam. Constraints, kya kya hai dekhte? Capacity and infrastructure. This is the constraint everywhere, yes or no? Sab jage ye constraint hai. Everywhere, same constraint. So let us skip this. Skilled workers, very big constraint. Skilled engineers, skilled repairmen, aviation mein. High cost to passengers. I think the cost is very reasonable, but since they are saying high cost, to hai, hum bhi bol denge high cost. My personal opinion is the cost is very reasonable. 
अच्छा हाई कॉस्ट टू पैसेंजर्स एंड ऑफ एयर कार्गो एयर कार्गो आई एग्री इट इज वेरी हाई पैसेंजर्स इट इज ओके एयर कार्गो इज वेरी हाई टैक्सेस ऑन एविएशन टर्बाइन फ्यूल टैक्स ऑन फ्यूल्स यू नो करेंटली पेट्रोल एंड डीजल प्राइसेस आर आल्सो राइजिंग अ लॉट टैक्स ऑन फ्यूल्स जीएसटी के बारे में कुछ बोला है सी दे आल्सो नो कि दो तीन इश्यूज ये वे फॉरवर्ड क्या है एनहेंस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द फर्स्ट इश्यू वॉज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कंस्ट्रेंट द नेक्स्ट इज एनहेंस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर राइट See this. Completing two new airports for Delhi and Mumbai. Jaiye, they you require new airports in Delhi and Mumbai to take off the load from existing airports. Otherwise, nahi hoga. It's not possible. Increase investment in the sector through finance and infrastructure support. Ye kya? आ रहा है आ रहा है ट्राई दिस अगेन Increase investment in the sector through financial and infrastructure support. Address shortage of skilled manpower. So basically, whatever issues we have discussed, उसी का कैसे करना है, क्या करना है, that is given. Collaboration, long term plans, aviation university. Sir, do we have to remember every point? No. Pick one or two points from every one or two sub points from every point. Bus. That's it. एक या दो sub point उठा लो. Write them down. Make your notes. Done. Simple. Finished. ठीक है. Promote air cargo growth. Obviously, fly from India through the creation of transshipment hubs. Transshipment hubs. See, there are lot of words which you will realize that you don't know. So try to Google them because they are normal English words. They are not economic words. They are not used only in economics. They are normal English words. Transshipment. Transshipment means that lot of uh, it's a hub. and lot of uh, through various means through various modes goods are coming in road se aaya port se aaya that is a transshipment hub and fir wahan se it will go ahead transshipment hub this is a nice document but ye jo chhota chhota cheez hai na e contracting e transportation that is not that important okay e is the regulatory environment for airports See, always pay attention to the headings. These headings are very important, very, very, very important. What I'll do is, chalo. What I'll do is, I'll do one more thing for you. I will mark this document and I will send it across, so that you know this is important, this is not so important, and this is just read only. So I will write read only. मतलब just एक बार देख लो. Otherwise, I will mark this document and I will send it to you, marking करके. ठीक है? Is the regulatory environment for airports? Regulatory environment means what? Tax laws. टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कंप्लायस थोड़ा रिड्यूस करो जस्ट ईज द एयरपोर्ट इन टू परफॉर्मिंग एविएशन सेफ्टी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एविएशन सेफ्टी जीरो टॉलरेंस फॉर सेफ्टी वायलेशन सब कुछ होना चाहिए बराबर से एकदम सेफ्टी वायलेशन शुड नॉट बी देर एक्सेट्रा राइट पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड इनलैंड वॉटरवेज वी कम टू पोर्ट्स नाउ Ports, shipping, and inland waterways. What is the objective? Double the share of freight. See, in this, also there will be freight, passenger, freight, passenger. Double the share of freight transported by coastal shipping and inland waterways from six percent to twelve percent. Now you know there are two things here. Coastal shipping and inland waterways. 
inland waterways means rivers which run within india coastal shipping means bahar se ocean so if you take a ship from kerala to reach maharashtra bahar se if it goes then it is a coastal shipping if it goes through a river then it is inland waterways fishing bhi do type ki hoti hai fishing inland fishing and uh, coastal ship uh, fishing so coastal fishing is outside ocean mein inland is rivers riverine fishes theek hai करंट सिचुएशन दिया है पोर्ट्स एंड शिपिंग्स का कि वी हैव अ लॉट वी हैव अ बिग कोस्ट लाइन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा टोटल हैंडलिंग कैपेसिटी सो मच नाउ लाइक आई टोल्ड यू इन भारत माला व्हाट वाज भारत माला द प्रोग्राम और द स्कीम फॉर रोड कनेक्टिविटी सिमिलरली वी हैव सागर माला प्रोग्राम सागर माला प्रोग्राम दिस इज द सागर माला प्रोग्राम पोर्ट मॉडर्नाइजेशन पोर्ट कनेक्टिविटी पोर्ट लेड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन कोस्टल कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट सागर माला प्रोग्राम ओके पोर्ट मॉडर्नाइजेशन कैपेसिटी ऑगमेंटेशन न्यू एफिशिएंसी इंप्रूव न्यू पोर्ट्स एफिशिएंसी इंप्रूवमेंट ये सब सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी है अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ रोड्स टू कनेक्ट टू पोर्ट्स सो बेसिकली इन पोर्ट सेक्टर व्हाट आर वी ट्राइंग टू डू इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू सी इन ऑल दीज फोर सेक्टर्स ऑल दीज फोर सेक्टर्स मेनली व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इन दीज फोर सेक्टर्स इज मेनली वी आर ट्राइंग टू रिड्यूस कॉस्ट reduce time improve efficiency improve safety theek hai and improve capacity bas yahi to hai yahi to hai objectives what what else it's very simple ओके चलो कोस्टल कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल देर इज देर इज स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक यर स्किल डेवलपमेंट लिखा है सी ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट कंपैरिजन इन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग कार्गो थ्रू वेरियस मोड्स इफ यू ट्रांसपोर्ट कार्गो वन टन रुपीस पर टन किलोमीटर ठीक है सो थ्री रुपीज रोड में लगेगा वन पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज रेल जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वाटरवे जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव पाइपलाइन सर पाइपलाइन से क्या ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है ऑयल स्लरी केमिकल्स गैस आर ट्रांसपोर्टेड थ्रू पाइपलाइंस सो इधर यू सेंड ऑयल बैरल्स ऑन अ ट्रक रोड और थ्रू रेलवे रेलवे और थ्रू वाटरवे वाटरवे एंड देर नॉट इवन इंक्लूडेड एयर बिकॉज एयर इज मच मोर कॉस्टलियर तो एयर तो इंक्लूड करके मतलब ही नहीं है वॉट आर द कंस्ट्रेंट्स अगेन मॉडल मिक्स आई होप यू नो वॉट इज मॉडल मिक्स वॉट इज मॉडल मिक्स रोड्स कंटिन्यू टू बी द डोमिनेंट मोड फॉलोड बाय रेल तो वाटरवेज तो चला गया ड्रॉट लेवल दिस इज अ न्यू पॉइंट है ना दिस इज अव एंड इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ड्रॉट लेवल इट इज नॉट डी आर ओ यू जी एच टी दिस इज अ डिफरेंट वर्ड डी आर ओ यू जी एच टी मीन्स वॉट ड्रॉट सूखा नो रेनफॉल नो वॉटर नो इरीगेशन दैट इज ड्रॉट दिस इज डी आर ए यू जी एच टी डी आर ए यू जी एच टी मीन्स द डेप्थ द डेप्थ डेप्थ ऑफ द सी बेड see this if this is the river agar niche sea bed idhar hai to ships only up to this size can go na bigger ships which are of this size cannot go in this place because land jaldi aa raha hai what is the solution you have to dredge this ye खोद के यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द डेप्थ एंड देन बिग शिप्स कैन एंटर एंड ग्लोबल शिप्स आर बिग शिप्स लोकल शिप्स आर स्मॉल शिप्स तो टू अट्रैक्ट ग्लोबल शिप्स यू हैव टू डेक फर्दर एंड देन यू हैव टू मेक वे फॉर देम ड्रॉट मोस्ट इंडियन कंटेनर हैंडलिंग पोर्ट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया लैक द कैपेबिलिटी टू हैंडल लार्ज कंटेनर वेसल्स ड्यू टू इन एडिक्वेट डेप्थ अ मिनिमम ड्राफ्ट डेप्थ ऑफ एटीन मीटर्स इज नीडेड to enable mother vessels mother vessels bade vessels to dock with international trade leaning towards more economically viable mother vessels 
शैलो ड्राफ्ट शैलो डेप्थ एडवर्सली अफेक्ट द पोर्ट पोटेंशियल टू बिकम अब पोर्ट तो फिर वो लोकल पोर्ट होगा इट विल नॉट बिकम अ मेजर हब पोर्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल न्यू दिल्ली इज अ मेजर रेलवे हब सो मेनी ट्रेन स्टेशन कमिंग कैपेसिटी है सिमिलरली फॉर बिग शिप्स टू कम देयर फॉर बिग शिप्स टू यू नो कम एंड टू ट्रेड विथ यू यू नीड बिग डेप्थ यू नीड मोर डेप्थ फिजिकल डेप्थ पानी के नीचे डेप्थ चाहिए आपको दिस ड्रॉ Connectivity to ports. Port एक अच्छा है fancy port है सब new new technology is there, remote control everything is there, but there is no road for connection to the port or the road is full of potholes. क्या होगा Nothing, no use. Transshipment port. Read about this. Charges by shipping lines, capital for inland vessels, technical issues in inland waterways, regulatory issues for inland waterways. See. Open up India's dredging market. Way forward is the solution. Type of a solution. Open up India's dredging market. What is dredging? Dredging means khodna to dig. That is known as dredging. Okay. I know this is boring. I know there is there is no fun concept in this, but this is the way it is, and uh, this is the way you have to read, you have to understand, and you have to add current affairs. That's it. बाकी इसमें तो कुछ है नहीं ज्यादा ओपन अप इंडिया ड्रेजिंग मार्केट सो इवन फॉर ड्रेजिंग ऑल्सो यू नीड कंपनीज हु आर एक्सपर्ट इन देयर फील्ड इन ड्रेजिंग तो ड्रेजिंग में भी आपको यू नो यू हैव टू पुट टेंडर्स एंड ऑल रिमेम्बर पीपीपी एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू डू फॉर ऑल द पर्पजेस ऑल इंफ्रा पर्पजेस so government needs to open up the dredging market to attract more players particularly international players increase and maintain draft depth at ports to attract large vessels enable them to become hub ports expedite the implementation of sagar mala what is sagar mala going to do sagar mala is read about sagar mala it's very good it is a big scheme sagar mala is Having ports as a hub for development, तो उसके आजू बाजू के यू नो the surrounding villages will or cities will be developed, roads will be widened, so that port-led development happens. Port-led development, ports will be modernized, right? Coastal economic zones would be set up. C E Z very important. C E Z would be set up. Coastal economic zones would be set up. C E Z. okay you will find information about coastal economic zones in the standard reference book you will find i hope they have included this coastal economic zone is nothing but an economic zone which uh, which you know coast area pe hai and it will provide employment opportunities to people there it will help facilitate promotion of uh, trade based on waterways port led development and all of this single window facility for cargo clearance is the business environment transshipment ports and shipping lines enhance last mile connectivity to inland waterways inland waterways matlab andar ke waterways mein connectivity do last mile connectivity it is very simple to understand just imagine doing this and you will be fine facilitate access to capital for inland vessels financing or inland vessels viability gap funding do usko this is very in depth huh? this is in depth but this is your mother document you have to extract things out of this i will mark and give you can maybe read only that much okay address technical and regulatory constraints in inland waterways लॉजिस्टिक्स पे आते हैं हम वी विल कंटिन्यू टू लॉजिस्टिक्स
logistics logistics means what moving moving here to there people as well as mainly goods and services goods transport of goods from one place to another place logistics theek hai achieve multimodal movement of cargo ye theek hai issues batao bhaiya issues batao cost of logistics is very high coordination due to multiple stakeholders involvement who are the multiple stakeholders transport operator warehouse operator freight forwarding value added logistics पैकिंग वाला अलग है ट्रांसपोर्ट वाला अलग है स्टोरेज वाला अलग है ठीक है सो यू नीड टू कोऑर्डिनेट बिटवीन देम वेयर हाउसिंग कैपेसिटी एंड फ्रैगमेंटेड स्ट्रक्चर इंडिया वेयर हाउसिंग वेयर हाउसिंग है ना वेयर हाउसिंग स्टोरेज बिग वेयर हाउसेज दे आर फ्रैगमेंटेड दे आर नॉट यूनिफॉर्मली स्प्रेड यू नो ऑनेस्टली इंडिया डजेंट हैव फुल डेटा ऑफ वेयर हाउसेज ऑल्सो कि कितने वेयर हाउस है वॉट इज द स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी यू नीड टू स्टोर योर गुड्स लॉजिस्टिक्स है यू नीड टू ट्रांसपोर्ट दैम you need to ready them you need to store them and jab time aayega tab load them and then transport it is very fragmented seamless movement of goods across modes and high dwell time we have lack of mode change options sir what do you mean by mode change options so if you want to send from road and tomorrow road itna tak hi jata hai then seamlessly it should transition to rail and go ahead from there but that is also not happening seamless transition transition between modes is not happening modes means different modes of transport different modes of um, sending goods different modes of sending freight or cargo etc competition and underutilized capacity interoperable technology across modes बॉर्डर कंप्लायस एंड डॉक्यूमेंट प्रोसेसिंग टाइम कस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट बहुत सारे हैं कस्टम डॉक्यूमेंट टू मच आर रिक्वायर्ड वे फॉरवर्ड रैशनलाइज टैरिफ्स एंड डिटरमाइन प्राइजेस इन एन एफिशियंट मैनर अक्रॉस डिफरेंट मोड रैशनलाइज टैरिफ मीन्स यू हैव टू वॉट वी से टैरिफ को रिड्यूस करो जहां करना है जहां इंक्रीज करना है वेरी वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज इंक्रीज वेरी वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूस रिड्यूस rationalize tariffs and determine prices in an efficient manner create an overarching body that maintains a repository of all transport data we don't know how much uh, how much is sent by roads how much is sent by railways one institute or one organization or one uh, institution will have all this data and will coordinate across modal shares enhance efficiency of warehouses and their operation especially to optimize food storage फूड स्टोरेज के लिए क्या क्या करना चाहिए वो सब लिखा है यहाँ पे सी दिस इज ऑल यू हैव टू रीड ऑन योर ओन दैट इज द टाइम विच यू हैव टू गिव इफ आई रीड विथ यू एवरीथिंग इफ आई एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग टू यू इट विल टेक फोर मोर वीक्स ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्टिल देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दिस माइट नेवर अपियर इन द एग्जाम इन द क्वेश्चन राइट सो आई विल गिव आई विल गिव आई विल गिव क्या बोलते हैं I will give marked copy of this. Don't worry about it. But make this your main document, and then look for newspaper articles. Look for references in newspapers which you can get. So tomorrow, if some news come about railways and reforms in railways which are happening, or some issues about railways, most of the issues are already covered here. So once if you find one or two new points which are not covered here, that you can do elsewhere. ठीक है अलाउ प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स टू ऑपरेट इन कॉन कॉर टर्मिनल्स कंटेनर को ऑपरेशन ऑफ इंडिया का सो दैट इज अ पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटिटी सी अगर कुछ नहीं समझ में आता है ना यू कैन इवन इग्नोर दैट पॉइंट द मेन थिंग इज यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट फोर इश्यूज यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट फोर सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू बाय हार्ट फोर टू फाइव करंट स्टेटस की क्या प्रॉब्लम है एक्सेट्रा बस दैट इट फोर टू फाइव पॉइंट फ्रॉम एवरी सेक्टर लॉजिस्टिक्स स्पोर्ट्स एयरपोर्ट्स रेलवे रोड एनर्जी सो वी हैव सीन रोड we have seen uh, airport civil aviation we have seen we have seen railways also right but the but if you see the past year questions the most number of questions bahut zyada you know too much too many questions come from one one part which is energy right so that is why we are going to give more time to energy we will you know slowly try to understand what all energy Uh, which all components are there in the energy i told you you need to know some basic statistics and all that you will come to know from the books you will uh, you will learn them from the books they are given fairly well in the economic survey as well right so let us start with energy now what do you understand by energy energy is what energy is power yes or no energy 
what do we know when we say energy right so energy normally can be divided into conventional sources and non conventional sources right energy normally can be divided into conventional sources and non conventional sources okay conventional sources may we go to commercial sources and non commercial sources sir how did you know this this is given in ncert i always put un uh, unnecessary importance on ncerts but that is also the reason why uh, a lot of information comes to you because when you read ncert you understand right from the basics people say that the uh, several people who say that ncerts are not required then that is their view i completely agree with that but uh, i personally feel that ncerts are absolutely essential right so non commercial what do you think are commercial sources of energy kya lagta hai what do you think commercial sources mein kya hoga what do you think are the commercial sources of energy kya kya hoga usme commercial sources mein okay commercial is what we know where mass energy is generated see energy you can say energy is electricity uh, basically or anything which generates power so when you are driving a vehicle bike ho car ho the petrol that is also energy right so conventional mein or commercial mein you can say coal i hope you know coal se gen electricity generate hoti it is known as thermal electricity right petroleum yes or no petroleum petroleum ko we will divide into two parts one is oil and one in one is gas petroleum products mein oil gas dono aate hai cooking gas ho cng ho all these are gasified in nature or they are gases and petroleum products mein oil crude oil right coal ho gaya petroleum ho gaya then you have uh, obviously they use these generate electricity nuclear energy is also there i hope you know this nuclear energy energy generated from uranium and then from thorium as well right non commercial so this is important this is this is an issue this comes in gs2 social justice social issue hai ye and in gs3 environment also non commercial sources what do you think are non commercial sources non commercial sources which means that at a very small scale right how do you think energy is generated or how do you think cooking is done in very rural and remote areas how do you think kaise hota hoga kya lagta hai what do you think or how do you think uh, have you ever visited to villages and all kaise lag kya how do they do do you know they cut wood and then they burn wood right and then they cook have you seen wood fires cooking right nowadays it is a trend ki wood fired pizza it is a trend now but in villages they actually do that right many times many times in colder areas rajasthan in winters and all in colder areas these fires are also generated inside the house yes or no right that is energy obviously have you seen in western movies and uh, series they have that fireplace proper fireplace inside the house and a house ke ek deewar mein there is a fireplace there are wood there is wood there and you burn where does the smoke go does it come in the room or out? it has a chimney or an outlet it has a chimney or an outlet the smoke goes up but in india in rural areas do you think they have such sophisticated infrastructure no they don't then what happens fuel wood fuel wood is nothing but your normal wood theek okay? hai known as fuel wood because fuel is generated from this wood right cow dung is used for cow dung is burned for generating biogas many times cow dung especially in rural and agri areas agricultural waste is also burned you must have seen in your villages agricultural waste is burned to generate energy now unfortunately unfortunately many of or most of our use is like most of our energy use comes from non commercial sources so more than 60% more than 60% of energy is used or energy is generated from non commercial sources and commercial is only up to 40% just imagine the problem what are the problems sir what are the problems with this suffocation pollution suffocation respiratory diseases for people okay they, they inhale the black smoke soot and all 
पॉल्यूशन प्लस प्लस दे आर इनएफिशियंट वेन आई से इनएफिशियंट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक इनएफिशियंसी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट साइंटिफिक इनएफिशियंसी सो पावर जनरेटेड ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल ट्रांसपोर्टेड यू नो थ्रू प्रॉपर मीन्स इट इज वेरी एफिशियंट दिस इज हाईली इनएफिशियंट you need to burn a lot of wood to get xyz amount of energy required for cooking or for heating purposes etc 60% just imagine right that is why you are becoming an is officer to solve all these problems in all our economy and agri and everything the series uh, we speak nothing but issues what are the issues right what are the issues with banks what are the issues with rbi government balance of payment issues kya hai in agri also we will see what are the issues with agriculture right your job as an officer is to solve these issues be it ias or ips other services are technical and you know specialized in nature irs and all those things audit accounts they are all specialized the ias ips help in solving these issues ips also helps in solving these issues they will uh, they will promote or they will publicize the use of modern means of electricity modern means of power police also has that power theek okay? hai now ओवरऑल वी कम टू नॉन कन्वेंशनल में क्या आएगा नॉन कन्वेंशनल में रिन्यूएबल स्पेशली रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल में वॉट वॉट ऑल इज रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोलर वॉट एल्स वॉट एल्स सोलर क्या आ गए विंड एनर्जी वेरी गुड वॉट एल्स टाइडल एनर्जी वेरी गुड वॉट एल्स हाइड्रो पावर एक्सेट्रा राइट न्यूक्लियर यहां आ गया कमर्शियल कन्वेंशनल न्यूक्लियर इज अ कन्वेंशनल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सो सम सम बुक्स और सम सम वेबसाइट्स क्लासिफाई न्यूक्लियर एज रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी द रीजन बीइंग दैट द एनर्जी इज सेल्फ सस्टेनिंग बिकॉज यू नो फिशन होता है इट इज वेरी वेरी सेल्फ सस्टेनिंग इट्स अ साइकिल बट अल्टीमेटली फिशन स्टार्ट होता है फ्रॉम यूरेनियम थोरियम एंड ऑल दोज रेडियो एक्टिव मटेरियल सो दे आर लिमिटेड इन नेचर एंड इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू जनरेट um see how are renewable and non renewable determined it is not that ki coal is not uh a coal once used is exhausted as a nahi but coal takes millions of years to form so for our lifetime it is non renewable only right it is conventional theek hai let us speak about electricity now chalo let us start about electricity then we'll go source by source let us speak about electricity in general electricity i hope you know electricity ठीक है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके ना हाउ इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज जनरेटेड यूजिंग कोल न्यूक्लियर सोलर हाइड्रो टाइडल मेजरली ये है मेजरली ठीक है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज जनरेटेड इन द प्लांट उसको पावर प्लांट बोलते हैं यस और नो पावर प्लांट होता है दिस इज नॉट अ साइंस क्लास सो आई एम नॉट डिस्क्राइबिंग हाउ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटेड दिस इज इकोनॉमिक्स दीज आर कॉल्ड एज जनरेटर्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटर्स ठीक है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटर्स बोलते हैं ओके इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटर्स now this goes to another company called as transmission company this goes to another company called as distribution company discom bolte hain they supply electricity to primarily three areas one agriculture farms and all second domestic our homes and all ghar pe third industrial areas commercial areas industrial areas large scale areas right these are the or this is the normal flow of electricity many times pay attention here many times these companies are same many times one company acts as a transmission company as well as a distribution company okay 
So sometimes in some books you will see distribution year, transmission year because they are the same company. So don't get confused, it is fine. It is not a rigid structure. Okay, but this is normally the first level, this is the second level, this is the third level. Did you understand this? Yes or no? Power is generated here, it is sent here, transmission. Transmission means you know it will send a, and then it will go to distribution company and then it will go to agriculture sector, domestic sector, industrial sector. Okay? Industrial and service sector, commercial sector, pura idhar aagya. Domestic is for household uses for us, for people like us and agriculture is for farms and then their homes, farmers homes. Okay? This is the way electricity is generated. Now, what are the issues in the infrastructure part of this? In the infrastructure part of this, what are the issues? Okay? If you see the capacity, thermal electricity in India, coal is used for 63% generation of electricity. So, 63% of electricity is generated through coal. When we speak about renewable energy, renewable energy, Solar, wind, etc. Wind bhi aage na idhar. Wind. When we speak about renewable energy, we are generating renewable 23 percent, and which is increasing rapidly. Which is increasing rapidly. Okay, 23 percent increasing rapidly. Okay. Then hydro. Hydro we use for 12 percent. Sir, why hydro is not renewable? Hydro is renewable, pay attention here, hydro is renewable, but government used to classify hydro as alag say from renewable, reason being these are large hydro projects, large hydro and small hydro. Small hydro do not require much investment. Small hydro do not require much installation of infrastructure. Large hydro on the other hand requires big turbines, requires big storage, requires big dams, requires big invest investment, requires big infrastructure, requires big displacement also. Land acquisition hoga, people will be displaced. That is why it is not considered as, it used to be not considered as renewable energy because this is, uh, you know, you require a lot of non-renewable components also used in the construction of big structures and all. But now since the last one year, since one year, government has merged large hydro and small hydro. Okay? Large hydro and small hydro are merged. So, see, no need to get into the details. Now, at this time, you need to understand for our purposes, renewable energy may 23 percent and this includes small hydro, tidal, solar, wind. And large hydro may 12 percent. If you include large hydro in renewable, this percentage would obviously be added 23 plus 12 percent. Okay. What, what about now this generation, this can be private, this can be central government, this can be state government. Yes or no? Generation can be private, central government, state government. Private does 47 percent generation. Center does 25 percent generation, state does 28 percent generation. This is the normal chart. I hope you know that distribution company say directly sabke ghar, everyone's homes and farms will not go. It will go to a substation. Okay, yaha pe ek station hoga, collection station, transmission station. It will go here and then yaha se it will go to agriculture. Same goes for domestic and same goes for industry or commercial sector as well. Okay, is it very good? Fine, very fine. Now, don't you think this model is spread throughout India? Like there are many power plants, there are many distribution companies, there are many transmission companies, yes or no? It is spread throughout, barabar When it is spread throughout, like when it is spread throughout, so let's say this is India. There are suppliers also, these are suppliers. There is demand also. Demand is what? These are demand sides, yes or no? Because here the electricity is demanded, here it is supplied. So, it is connected in pura, pura India. Mein. I hope you are understanding. This entire thing, supply, demand, electricity, supply and electricity demand is connected throughout the India. Power lines, power lines, it, uh, energy is transmitted and it is uh, connected throughout India. This is known as grid. This is known as grid. Okay? This is known as grid. 
ग्रेड इज अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड ग्रेड मीन्स बेसिकली ग्रेड इज अ कनेक्शन ऑफ हॉरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल लाइन सो सिमिलरली ऑल दीज सप्लाई डिमांड कनेक्शन आर नोन एज ग्रेड ठीक है सो सो वेन आई से ग्रेड कनेक्टेड पावर सप्लाई विच मीन्स की इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द ऑफिशियल पावर सप्लाई वेन आई से स्टैंड अलोन पावर सप्लाई इट मीन्स की आई एम जनरेटिंग माई ओन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एट होम सो दीज आर नॉट ग्रेड कनेक्टेड Do you agree? These are not grid connected. These are standalone. Yes or no? These are grid connected. Yes or no? These may be standalone or grid connected. Yes or no? Because if I install a solar photovoltaic panel outside my home where there is ample sunlight and I am powering, let's say, two bulbs in my home with that solar panel, is it grid connected? No, it is not grid connected. Grid is the common supply which connects everyone. So our electricity which we are using, yes, grid connected. If tomorrow, if tomorrow. these power generate power plant generators they install they install solar power or solar panels and then they start supplying electricity via these lines then it is grid connected so this can be so this is definitely not grid connected this is not grid connected this can be grid connected or stand alone this can be grid or stand alone theek hai grid or stand alone okay tidal i i doubt tidal tidal can be stand alone it is grid connected but mostly i'm talking about solar wind solar wind there are private there are private uh, wind farms also those who let's say tata hai tata company has a big uh, motor power plant car power plant uh, car plant and then it has a separate power plant where it is where it has erected windmills and you know they are generating electricity and supplying it to the car factory so that is not grid connected because that is not the common pool that is their own supply private supply hai wo stand alone hai wo that is stand alone theek hai now this is the grid now let us see the issues one by one let us see one by one kya issues hai at various stages of energy supply what are the issues so the first challenge or the first issue is that energy growth rate is low this generation capacity is low the way our population is increasing where our population is increasing energy capacity and growth rate is low okay what is the second issue second issue kya hai see we are going to see this from uh, from the niti ayog document as well for the chapters but i am i am first simplifying all these issues because energy is a big part most of the questions come from energy only one or two questions from airports have been asked but most question comes from energy so we will discuss it more very important term i am going to teach you very 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 important term if you don't use this term you will not get marks very 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 important term a t and c losses a t and c losses what is the meaning of this a t and c losses see we'll decode this word aggregate common a aggregate technical and commercial losses aggregate technical and commercial losses at and c losses see aggregate means total so wo to general word hai technical and commercial losses what do you mean by commercial losses commercial losses means losses in your business commercial commerce so everyone is doing business here yes or no these are also doing business these are also doing business these are also doing business what is their cost cost of generating power what is their selling price whatever is paid by transmission companies what is their cost what they are paying to these guys what is their selling price distribution companies what is their cost cost of procuring power either from them or from them so because sometimes i told you these are more or less one company only various times what is their what is their selling price whatever they are recovering from the agriculture domestic and industry sector yes or no so if they make loss then that is a commercial loss they make loss commercial loss they make loss commercial loss so agree so this is commercial loss what is technical loss see when electricity is transmitted from year to year and from year to year and from year to year the power lines power lines hai towers hai the storage structures where electricity is stored and all of that they are very old and inefficient 
these power generators are also old and inefficient. So when something old and inefficient happens, or let me say they are highly depreciated. Oh sir, economics. They are highly depreciated. When they are highly depreciated, what happens is their efficiency comes down. And that and they contribute to technical losses. So you generated 245 gigawatts, but by the time you are transmitting, only 242 gigawatts is transmitted. Rest 3 gigawatts lost, lost in the transit. Technical losses. So AT and C losses are very high. Aggregate, technical, and commercial losses. Very, very, very high. Okay. Environmental concerns are because if if you are using coal for generating energy, you will have environmental concerns, right? Pura energy will finish it off from here only. Environmental concerns are there. Then next, very, very, very important, I will teach you something. Again, this word is important. Power purchase agreements. These are called as PPAs. These are called as PPAs, power purchase agreements. Let us discuss PPAs, power purchase agreements. Now, if distribution, discoms or transmission companies, they purchase power from generators. See, generator will not generate electricity unless he is ensured that I have a buyer. You will not produce something unless you are sure that you will find a buyer. Electricity generate karke, what he will do? He will keep it with him. No, he wants to sell. So he wants to find a buyer, right? So what happened was earlier, very uh, in earlier days, they were not sure how much capacity to generate. See, installed capacity is 100 gigawatts. You can generate 100 gigawatts of electricity. But if you don't find the buyer, if there is no transmission network, if you don't find the buyer for more than 75 gigawatts, so 25 gigawatts waste ho jayega because inefficiency hai and energy stored gets wasted due to depreciation of machinery, wires, etc. So, what they do is, these companies enter into power purchase agreement with the generator. Power purchase agreement, agreement hoga, usme likha hoga ki, you know, we will purchase this much amount of energy from you at this cost, cost is also very important, yes or no? At this cost, we will purchase this much amount of energy, at this cost, very important. At this cost, okay. This at this cost wala portion was very, very, very important. Right? Are you understanding this? Okay, power purchase agreement. Now I will tell you one more issue related to power purchase agreements. Which what is the issue here? So See, power purchase agreement is normally done for 10 to 15 to 20 years. 20 years the power purchase agreement hai. Then they can then they can install additional capacity because they also have to incur huge costs for this capacity. So if 10, 15 years they are ensured that yes, I will sell my electricity, I have an assured buyer, they are bindas. Right? These agreements were entered in 2000, 2015, uh, 2010 and all earlier, which, which will expire now, which will start expiring now, and they are normally renewed. Theek hai. Renewable energy generation has been getting an increasing boost since past 5 to 6 years maximum. Renewable energy boost. Okay, we are going for renewable energy. We are going for increasing solar energy. So instead of coal, go for solar. Now this one power plant may not, one power plant cannot generate electricity from various sources. There will be another power plant, another power plant also. Okay. To increase the proliferation, to increase the proliferation of renewable energy, See, if they are, if some new person comes here, if a new person comes here and he is generating, let's say, solar energy and he also wants to supply, but if they have already entered into power purchase agreement, they might not get a chance to buy from him. This is fine, this is one. But government has come up with a policy of, or government to increase the proliferation of renewable energy. So, they also need buyers. So, what are we trying to do? Are we encouraging buyers for them or them? Environmentally friendly kya hai? B encourage buyers for them, right? So these companies, transmission companies and distribution companies, they are mandated 
to purchase at least x y z percentage some percentage 10 15 percentage of electricity requirements from them so that unko bhi they also get the customers this this obligation they are forced it is an obligation obligation to purchase renewable energy yes or no obligation to purchase renewable energy this is called as renewable purchase obligation and normal english hai everywhere renewable purchase obligation rpo renewable purchase obligation rpo okay so they have to mandatorily buy someone from solar and now earlier it was fine earlier one one unit of coal generated electricity thermal electricity suppose used to be sold at 10 rupees per watt suppose uh, suppose 10 rupees per unit solar earlier was not that developed so they were selling it at costly basis or costly this thing earlier it was 12 rupees per watt suppose but because they were forced so theek hai 12 pe le rahe 10 pe hi le rahe do you know now what is the cost of solar as low as 2 rupees 3 rupees as low as 2 rupees and 3 rupees now the cost is as low as let's say 3 rupees per who is facing the brunt now who is facing the brunt are they facing the brunt or they or they these companies are facing the brunt let us focus on these companies distribution companies are facing the brunt because they enter into agreement with them they enter into agreement with them so if this why they are facing the brunt now because they have already entered into fixed purchase obligation at 12 rupees and at 10 rupees also iske liye bhi ppa hai power purchase agreement hai iske liye bhi ppa now they have to buy at 10 rupees they have to buy at 12 rupees but for a new person who is coming he is buying at 3 rupees imagine you deciding to uh, pay monthly installment of 10 uh, for 10 years of 5000 rupees and someone new tomorrow takes a same loan for same tenure and he gets a monthly installment of 3000 rupee kaisa lagega you are locked in yes or no you are locked in renewable purchase obligation ki wajah se you are locked in so that is why before that all most of these companies most most of these companies are under the control of state governments these are state governments see generators are private and these and these most of these are under the control of state governments let us forget this they are not that significant discoms are significant distribution companies now who is facing the brunt of higher purchase price they are very happy yes they are very happy yes new person who is offering at 3 per watt is not very happy because he is not getting customers right plus to add salt to the wound government also allowed private players or big industries let's say reliance as an industry it needs electricity government also allowed them to big industries to buy directly from power generators they can also buy directly they don't have to go through this See, these are ultimately middlemen yes or no transmission distribution middlemen hai ye right so jiska electricity bill you get that is a discom distribution company there are very few private discom tata power reliance mumbai mumbai and delhi are the major two cities which have private discoms otherwise most of them are state owned state government owned right now when you allow private players to borrow to buy electricity directly at lower rate they are also happy who is left unhappy discoms discoms are left unhappy who under whose control are discoms state government discoms are under the control of state governments now right who will wear the brunt now state government right a big deficit is formed in state government's budget because of this higher price hai right so when this is higher price they and they have to they have to lower their price also in electricity because now global if if the market rates are lowered because of them entering you have to lower distribution rates also theek okay? hai so state governments try to renegotiate the ppas with these guys कि सर प्लीज गिव अस एट थ्री ट्वेल्व कैंसिल करो बिकॉज योर प्राइस हैज रिड्यूस्ड रीनिगोशिएट द रिन्यूएबल पावर परचेज एग्रीमेंट 
ठीक है सो पावर परचेज एग्रीमेंट आर रीनिगोशिएटेड दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम और पावर परचेज एग्रीमेंट ओवरऑल आर अ प्रॉब्लम विच आर ऑलरेडी एंटर्ड एट हाई कॉस्ट एट हाई कॉस्ट ठीक है इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन रीड आंध्र प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट एपी गवर्नमेंट के बारे में पढ़ना दे हैड ट्राई टू री री रीनिगोशिएट द पावर परचेज एग्रीमेंट एग्जाम्पल एपी गवर्नमेंट आंध्र प्रदेश राइट कमिंग टू डिस्कॉम्स लुक एट देम ऑलरेडी दे आर दे हैव टू दे आर फोर्स्ड टू बाय इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एट हायर कॉस्ट ऑलरेडी दे आर हैविंग इन एफिशियंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्लस वन मोर थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन मोर थिंग एग्रीकल्चर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज मोस्टली फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टू एग्रीकल्चर इज मोस्टली सब्सिडाइज और फ्री फार्मर्स गेट ऑलमोस्ट फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इनका रेवेन्यू स्ट्रीम तो गया रेवेन्यू स्ट्रीम इज गॉन नाउ राइट हु विल बेर द ब्रंट ऑफ ऑल दिस ऑब्वियसली हु इज द फादर ऑफ डिस्कॉम्स स्टेट गवर्नमेंट तो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट विल देन हैव अ डेफिसिट येस और नो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की डेफिसिट शुड इंक्रीज बिकॉज ऑफ पॉलिसीज बिकॉज ऑफ पॉलिसीज दे आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस रेवेन्यू यहां तो खर्चा हो रहा है यहां रेवेन्यू भी नहीं मिल रहा है डेफिसिट आर है डोमेस्टिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल आर क्रॉस सब्सिडाइज सो डोमेस्टिक रेट आर कैप लोअर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रेट आर कैप हायर बट डोमेस्टिक consumers are much more than industrial consumers in india so net effect is of low recovery ye bhi income kam ho raha hai lesser income who is facing the brunt state governments what is happening deficits so these are called that is why discoms now what what will discoms do what will discoms do borrow high debt with discoms or overburden they are overburden they will borrow overburden now if discoms fail if discoms fail would it not result in a twin balance sheet problem yes because the bank which has lent to discoms will not recover the loan will not be able to recover the loan from discoms discoms failing you are failing twin balance sheet problem ho gaya i hope you are getting this it's very very simple very logical okay We are spending. See roads and all. You can easily imagine. Are cut down, save it. Railway has increased the railway speed, reduced the accidents, etc. It is very fine. This is important. High debt with discoms, overburdened. Right. What else? इलेक्ट्रिस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सब्सिडी टू फार्मर्स वो भी एक इश्यू है वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सब्सिडी टू फार्मर्स देन यू हैव क्रॉस सब्सिडाइजेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दीज आर ऑल द इश्यूज है क्रॉस सब्सिडाइजेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी भी है देन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट डिड वी डू टैक्स यस वी डिड टैक्सेशन डिड वी टेल डिड वी डू वी नो दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नॉट अंडर जीएसटी राइट एल्कोहल फॉर ह्यूमन कंजम्पन पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नॉट अंडर जीएसटी सो इफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नॉट अंडर जीएसटी विच मीन्स दैट यू डोंट हैव टू पे जीएसटी यू हैव टू पे स्टेट वैट एंड ऑल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस एंड ऑल अलग है Other taxes are there. As I said, taxes are not there, but you have to. You don't have to pay GST on electricity. If you don't have to pay GST on electricity, if you don't have to pay GST on electricity, while if they don't have to pay GST on electricity, while storing electricity, while transmitting electricity, they have certain inputs. They have taken certain inputs. They have bought storage capacity for electricity. They have bought wires. they have bought transmitters they have bought any other fuses and everything they have bought but when when bringing that when buying that they have paid gst on it but 
if I'm selling something, I'm not liable to pay GST. Can I use that input credit? Remember input tax credit, tax paid on input set off against tax paid on outputs. But if there is no tax paid on outputs, you cannot set off tax paid on inputs, which means your cost rises, yes or no. You bought a wire of 200 rupees, on that you paid GST of 5 rupees. Okay, your output liability when you sell G, when you sell electricity, suppose GST is applicable, your output liability is 2 rupees, that you can set off against that. But your output liability is 0, you cannot set off against, which means that 5 rupees ka liability entirely is borne by you now. So, no input tax credit, that is also one very important reason. It is very important, no input tax credit, okay. Last, you do not switch off your fans, you do not switch off your lights, you do not switch off your AC when not required. Energy efficiency and misuse is also a problem, overuse, misuse. Energy efficiency is a problem, right? People using one star refrigerators, one star appliances, people not using LEDs. People using older technology bulbs, not using energy efficient fans, energy efficiency and misuse is also an issue. This makes your entire mains answer relating to electricity, yes or no, you have covered, you have covered the financial aspects, the infra aspects of it, everything you have covered. Okay. Now what has the government done or what are the solutions for this that we are going to see? What are the solutions for this? See. If I go to explain every solution, it will again take 4 more hours. I am just writing the solutions. When you read current affairs, when you read news, this, these things will keep on appearing. Plus, plus when you do current affairs with Santosh sir, his notes, his booklets, his sources will include all these schemes also. So, these are majorly schemes. Now, see, solutions are more or less schemes only. So, when you do that, this cover ho jayega. Do not worry about the sources. Right? I have not told the source yet for investment models and this thing. Okay, solutions kya hai electricity ka? First is electricity amendment bill. Bill hai ye, it is not yet an act. Electricity amendment bill hai, abhi 2020 ka hi hai. What it does is, it reduces cross subsidization. Yaha likha hai kya? Cross subsidization. Haan. It reduces cross subsidization. Reduces cross subsidies or cross subsidization and simplifies tariff structure so that you know efficiency of financial efficiency increases. Simplification of tariffs. Okay, simplification of tariffs. Then you have a very important scheme, very, very, very important scheme. I'll tell the chief provisions of the scheme. You have Uday scheme. Ujwal Discom. Discom is distribution company. Assurance Yojana. So this was a scheme to, to uh, reform the Discoms, to reform the distribution companies, to reduce their debt to increase the operational efficiencies and it was an absolute failure. This scheme did not do anything significant. This scheme did not achieve any significant reduction in debt. Still state discounts are overburdened with debt. Still they have a very high uh, level of uh, loans and advances with them. So this scheme was a failure. You can read about this scheme, why it failed and all in current affairs. In fact, I have shared an article on the group which says Uday ke baare mein, you know, it says that Uday was a failure, etc. Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. There are many schemes. That is why I can't go into detail. Many schemes. So, scheme mein to hai jayega apne aap. Scheme mein ho jayega. Very important point. Please pay attention here. Very important point. There is a scheme called DDUGJY. There is a scheme called DDUGJY. Deen Dayal Upadhyay. Gram Jyoti Yojana. Okay, Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana, DDU GJY. This is a scheme 
and it provides for amongst other things amongst other thing is provides for a very fantastic main objective is to separate feeders of agri and non agri uses kya hai iska meaning see this electricity is sent to the substation and sent for agriculture households now he is living there also he is farming there also aisa to nahi hai ki he is farming there and he is living there right it's one unit only so they are saying ki separate the connection to his home and separate the connection to his farm farm wala subsidize it or give it free home wala give him bill for that theek hai so we see farmers getting free electricity pura tv laga ke rakha hai ac chalu hai full day full day ac is on you know so many appliances are there so that is not the intention the intention of the subsidy is to give him electricity for farming and not for his comfortable stay so that is why separate the feeders so these are feeders okay these are feeders so separate the feeder so one will go to his home and one will go to his farm this is farm wala and this is home wala that is known as separate feeders of agri and non agri uses so feeder separation it is called as feeder separation in two words if i want to write this is just to explain you feeder separation theek hai it is gram jyoti yojana gram is rural fourth now how we know atnc losses aggregate technical and commercial losses how do discoms and transmission companies show their losses is that they categorize them together mix karke they show ki itna hamara losses hai this this is our loss figure they they combine this and they show the loss total loss figure but we say that separate them treat them separately treat them separately then you will be able to uh, you know reduce them this is very important focus on technical only and focus on commercial only don't combine them and then say ki sir my losses are so much separate separate technical and commercial losses and deal with them accordingly separate technical and commercial losses and deal with them accordingly privatize discoms discoms are state government state government are more uh, socialistic in nature and more social justice but that leads to lot of inefficiencies so privatize discoms they will bring lot of efficiency while retaining the social obligations also privatized discoms what else what else privatized discoms ke baad there is another scheme there is another scheme called saubhagya you will cover this in schemes saubhagya scheme what is saubhagya sahaj bijli har ghar yojana सहज बिजली हर घर योजना दिस एम्स एट अचीविंग 100 परसेंट इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन हंड्रेड परसेंट पावर और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड वी हैव अचीव 97, 98 एट परसेंट पावर ठीक है देन वॉट एल्स स्मार्ट मीटर्स स्मार्ट मीटर्स सो मेनी पीपल अच्छा वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू विद इन राइट ओनली theft of electricity i hope everyone understands this theft of electricity so smart meters what is smart meters and smart grid they are gps enabled meters internet connected meters so many times people rig their meters also many times people steal electricity from others meters also so smart meters will are tamper proof they are connected to internet so power companies can monitor the usage of meters 
right from their offices okay so these are basically electric uh, internet connected meters smart meters and smart grid also what is smart grid smart grid means smart grid means uh, wherever there is a demand uh, of electricity wherever there is a supply deficit there automatically electricity will be rerouted there so that surplus electricity should not be stored at one place it should be sent there okay so there are these are some technological interventions to match demand and supply and these are some uh, solutions right then next so these are more of the issues obviously hiking electricity tariffs is one of the issue but see if you keep on hiking electricity tariff and keep on giving electricity free or subsidized to others then it will keep on bleeding into your deficit and another deficit badta rahega right so this was all about electricity overall electricity sector any doubt you have you have you can ask me but this was all about electricity sector we have covered it in a very comprehensive manner to koi problem hi nahi hai next we go to oil and gas oil and gas this is very fast very simple oil and gas ke issues we'll write and we'll write the solutions oil and gas what are the issues of oil and gas environmental concerns इश्यूज क्या क्या है एनवायरमेंटल कंसर्न्स सेकंड डू यू डू वी डू यू नो दैट वी इंपोर्ट अ लॉट ऑफ ऑयल मेजॉरिटी ऑफ आर ऑयल इज इंपोर्टेड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड गैस इज आल्सो इंपोर्टेड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड सो योर इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस और इंटरनेशनल इवेंट्स आल्सो अफेक्ट योर ऑयल एंड गैस अवेलेबिलिटी इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है right because we are dependent on them they are import sensitive these are import sensitive sectors then insufficient gas pipeline network many of you might not even have gas pipe at your home or your relatives might not have insufficient gas pipe network what is the fourth issue these are very gen like you know self explaining issues same prices are dependent on opec and all especially opec and then discrimination between private and uh, public uh, gas distribution companies so public companies are favored much more than private companies so discrimination between private and public suppliers but discrimination in terms of what with respect to access to gas pipelines supply for supply at homes and all theek okay, hai major issues these are the major issues Okay, these are the major issues for oil and gas. Now we will see the major issues for coal. Coal, के लिए what are the major issues? Coal, के लिए what are the major issues? Environmental concerns, same thing. environment i'll give you very good examples also read about them example malkangiri odisha malkangiri in odisha then read about uh, um, anyways i can't recollect then uh, northeast mein there are lot of issues northeast mein uh, environmental degradation due to coal okay what next what are the issues illegal mining and exporting are the issues illegal mining
illegal mining and exporting so we are now going one level one level earlier we are now we are now at coal here illegal mining and exporting ho gaya then low quality coal india's coal is very low quality we have high ash content low quality coal in india right then scams like colgate we have colgate scams so i'll tell you this is not an issue anymore but not colgat col colgate right you were probably some of you might be in college some of you might be in school at that time when this scam happened colgate scam okay now what are the solutions for oil and gas here i'll tell colgate scam in solutions i'll tell what are the solutions for oil and gas and coal sath mein likh dete oil gas and coal what are the solutions first solution is first solution is colgate ka solution so i'll tell you what happened in colgate was so see how coal is mined there are mining companies who will mine coal and who will sell it to anyone who needs coal coal is used in various other materials various other uh, metal making various other chemical making coal is also used by power power generators who use thermal power electricity who generate thermal power electricity theek hai ye ho gaya so the ones who are mining where will they mine they will mine in coal fields india has a lot of coal fields so when they will go for coal fields government will give them right to mine otherwise everyone will go so this right to mine was based on allotment so we used to ask for bids we used to tell ki those who are interested in mining this field chalo this field we are giving up for bid those who are invested uh, sorry those who are interested in mining uh, then they can apply theek hai now this was a very old system then what happened and this used to happen in 70s 80s which was a good system then what happened was after that we decided ki you know bids are not coming because com- there were no private players so bids were not there we had suppressed industry in the earlier times then we shifted to an allotment basis we shifted to an allotment basis allocation basis or forget it why to complicate na then we then we shifted to an allotment or allocation basis so what happened was we used to tell ki this uh, we used to government used to decide ki which mine to allocate to which player or which company government used to decide ki okay this mine hai let us allocate to this coal india limited let us allocate to this now this led to a lot of corruption right because those who are paying government higher amount of money they will get the rights to mine and rights to mine are future income for the company so this happened and cag released a report i think in 2012 Uh, relating to coal gate and uh, lot of coal companies were uh, you know shown that they had given bribes and they had given uh, and the allocation on the basis of which the mines were allocated they were very arbitrary government ke reasons were very wrong and everything was there supreme court ordered that all the allocations made till date be scrapped all the allocations of mining rights mining rights ke jo allocation hai all the allocations made till date be scrapped and then in 2015 so this happened in 2014 in 2015 we came up with an act called coal mining special provisions act 2015 and this said that this said that all coal mine all rights to coal fields should be on auction basis auction boli boli auction basis so it will not be on allocation or allotment khud se kar do you know one sided from the government those who want uh, or you know 
वॉट द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट दे विल गिव इट टू एनी वन ऐसा नहीं प्रॉपर ऑप्शन होगा इन वेरी अर्लियर वी टू हैव दिस प्रॉपर ऑप्शन बिड सिस्टम यू यू नो यू से दिस माइन इज देयर हु वॉन्ट्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टेन पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड देन प्लीज प्लेस यूर बिड हाउ मच आर यू विलिंग टू गिव मनी टू द गवर्नमेंट ये सो नो देन ओनली इट विल एलोकेट अदरवाइज वाइफ ऑफ फ्री इट विल एलोकेट सो हु एवर विल बिड द हाइएस्ट विल गो फॉर दैट माइन विल गो टू हिम and there are various other conditions also you have to take care of the environment also so those who is willing to do least damage to the environment that is also one of the criteria for allotment in auction auction basis auction basis pe karo this is very important major change then we also allowed private players private players were given more freedom or private players entry allowed competition to increase competition private players entry was allowed to increase the competition okay then we came up with a separate uh, coal increase the coal uh, to increase the coal quality oh sab bhi we have we have lot of small schemes i'm not writing the names here you will cover them in current affairs if they are in current then they are important if they are not in current then they are anyways not important right for for um, this thing for oil and gas for oil and gas what was the problem was they had to apply separate for separate mining and prospecting licenses for so oil is prospected not mined it is prospected which means oil is uh, oil is uh, obtained from sea bed i hope you know this geography mein hai sea bed se oil aata hai you have to prospect it right so you have to research you have to survey then you have to send the ship you have to send your equipment inside you have to prospect it and then you know oil comes uh, it is from the sea bed or it is from the you know underground se wo oil aata hai right so many times uh, oil licenses are given similarly various coal coal mining licenses are given similarly various other minerals to mine other minerals also right various different types of licenses are given so now we have a unified licensing policy ki one license for everything which is which is convenient for private players also those who are really interested those who will damage the environment in the minimum fashion or a minimal fashion they will apply for this license so we came up with a new policy in the oil and gas regime in the oil and gas regime it is called help h e l p English. See the name. Hydrocarbon exploration and licensing policy. Help. Hydrocarbon exploration and licensing policy. It gave unified. It gave unified mining, mining or prospecting license. यूनिफॉर्म लाइसेंसिंग आया ठीक है इट गेव यूनिफॉर्म लाइसेंसिंग प्लस अर्लियर गवर्नमेंट यूज टू डिसाइड विच एरिया टू ऑप्शन गवर्नमेंट यूज टू डिसाइड कि टुडे वी विल ऑप्शन दिस एरिया गो माइन ऑयल फ्रॉम देयर और गो प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑयल फ्रॉम देयर बट नाउ वी हैव कि प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स विल गेट टू चूज कि आई वॉन्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट दैट आई हैव रिसर्च आई हैव प्रोस्पेक्टेड or you know i have uh, i have my plans ready so i want i want that government give me that i will give you money don't worry but i want that okay that is called open acreage licensing policy oalp so this is very technical when you read newspapers and current you will understand they are explained uh, in detail there open acreage licensing policy then government earlier used to uh, issue like so earlier we had now we have help earlier we had nelp nelp national exploration and licensing policy now we have hydrocarbon exploration and licensing policy theek okay? hai so earlier what used to happen is in case of oil jitna you are producing uska some percentage uh some percentage in in value term should go to government so if you produce 200 barrels today 200 barrels into uh, what is the price today's price uska some percentage would go to government so that was production sharing model how much you are producing you are sharing with the government now we have come up with a revenue sharing model 
रेवेन्यू शेयरिंग मीन्स की वेन यू सेल वेन यू मेक प्रॉफिट वेन यू अर्न इनकम उसका सम परसेंटेज गिव सो इफ समल इज लॉस और सम ऑयल यू सोल्ड बिलो द प्राइस डोंट गिव एस दैट सो वी हैव अ रेवेन्यू शेयरिंग मॉडल नाउ okay then what of this was about oil what about gas what about gas we have something called as india gas grid so like electricity we want to connect the we want to connect the entire country via pipelines for supply of gas demand supply of gas we have india gas grid we have india gas exchange also igx india gas exchange as a part of india energy exchange huh? india gas exchange as part of india energy exchange ix isko bolte hai and isko igx sir what is this we didn't understand so it is grid connected grid connected hoga and it is a market so today if you are a very big private player you have to search who is willing to supply you gas at that quantity at a, at your requested price and uh, uh, you need oil at that requested price you are a private player you are a private consumer let's say suppose you are tata motors you need oil you need gas for your operations right so you will you will search who is willing to supply who is willing to supply at that particular price etc so this is a market place basically this is a market for energy and gas so even gas and energy is traded now right remember in market chapter i told you sometimes actual physical delivery is not done but only the price settlement is uh, cleared off for gas also for energy also for everything so india gas exchange and india energy exchange it is nothing but a market of buying and selling theek okay? hai this is called this is also called as national gas grid we are making one one nation one market for gas also for gas also we are making one nation one market by reducing the transport cost by um, what we say by reducing the barriers in between we have seen in gst also ki how octra checks at three four times or three four states hampers the speed and productivity so we are reducing all of those okay let us come to nuclear energy now nuclear bhi hai hamare paas there are two main dangers or two main issues we associated with nuclear energy first issue is that fear of safety or safety concerns first issue is safety concerns second issue in india is civil liability for nuclear damage cnd civil liability for nuclear damage cnd so safety concerns me obviously radiation leakage uh, fukushima incident had happened so many issues have happened um, chernobyl to is obviously world famous right so uh, ye safety concerns hai plus civil liability for nuclear damage clnd what is civil liability for nuclear damage civil liability for nuclear damage which means that if something happens if leakage happens if some uh, if some reactor fault happens then you who have produced this reactor you foreign company from which we have bought bought the reactor you foreign company who has come here and installed the reactor are responsible for paying damages to india most 99.99% of our nuclear energy is is uh, imported uh, nuclear reactors are imported not energy sorry nuclear reactors are imported from outside india and we have we try to hold them liable for any damages but they are not ready to sign that so that is an issue civil liability for nuclear damage so they need protection against civil liability for nuclear damage 
and uh, we are not willing to give them. So the solution is to find a middle ground. Some things they agree, some things we agree. And here obviously the solution is that you know uh, ensure highest uh, higher security or highest grade quality material and all. And in India, almost all reactors confirm to the highest security levels available in the world. When it comes to security, ha, they are old, ha, they are old, they are inefficient, oh, sab hai. but when it comes to safety, security, India, Indian reactors or those which we have asked foreign countries, foreign private uh, manufacturers, Westinghouse, General Electric, these are the some companies which make these reactors. So we have asked them to make the highest, highest quality. Because imagine thoda bhi ho gaya na, we, the population is such, the density is such, even one small incident will lead to uh, maximum casualties, right? So security wise we have the highest, but at the same time, um, yeah, liability wise thoda issue hai and uh, efficiency wise to issue hi issue, right? In science and tech, you will study this. In science and tech, uh, you know, you will study this. Uh, in the point, achievements of Indians in the field of science and technology. So, I want you to read about, this is science and tech. I want you to read about three-stage nuclear program. India's three-stage nuclear program. I want you to read this. I also want you to know where are the India's nuclear power stations located. For prelims, it is very important. Nuclear, huh? not thermal. Thermal is very Where are India's nuclear power stations located? Kakrapar, Kakrapar, Narora. So many, so many nuclear power plants are there. Kudankulam, okay? KPPP, Kudankulam power plant or something like that. What are the types of reactors? Fast breeder reactor, heavy water reactor, light water reactor, prototype fast breeder reactor. All of that come under science and technology. India's uh, uh, this thing achievements in the fields of science and technology. Okay, India has an Indian's achievement in the field of science and technology. Let us go to renewables. Renewables me kya aata hai? This is also coming. This renewables would also form part of your environment chapter, uh, environment syllabus. Okay, renewables. Environment me bhi aata hai ye renewables. So we have a target of, we have a target of having an installed capacity, installed capacity of 175 gigawatts by 2022. Usme se 100 would come from solar, okay? 60 would come from wind, 10 would come from sorry, biomass. 5 would come from small hydro. I hope you know small hydro now. 60 would come from 40 would come from rooftop. Roof ke upar bhi installation hota hai. 60 would come from ground mounted. Hundred sixty ten five. Solar, wind, biomass, small hydro. These are normally considered to be renewables. Okay. Let us take one by one. Kya issue aata hai solar mein? What do you think is the issue with solar? What do you think is the issue with solar? See, overall entire renewable energy ka issue is one. Wo main bata tau. Entire re renewable energy issue we will discuss. Solar mein what is the issue? Something called as intermittency. What do you mean by intermittency? Intermittency, it's an English word, it's not a not an economic or not a technical word. What do you mean by intermittency? Intermittency means you are generating solar energy. I hope you know so, how solar energy works. Panel hota hai, sun rays come, photocatalytic reactors are there, photovoltaic react panels are there, photocatalytic reactions happen. They uh, the molecules transfer energy and then they uh, they are collected on one side and then electricity is generated. Whether AC or DC, it is always DC, direct current. Okay, and then you need a converter to convert it into AC current. But this is not a science and tech class. So, sorry. Uh, solar may intermittency. Hoti hai. Intermittency means you are generating solar. Very good, very good. Cloud comes. What will happen? <laughs> Cloud came. What will happen? Efficiency will go low because solar energy. So, it is intermittent. Intermittent. What do you do at night? Will solar work at night? No. So, intermittency is one of the biggest issues in solar energy. One. Second, PPA renegotiations. Remember, I told you PPA renegotiations. 
but that is an issue of entire renewable sector so let us keep it at this intermittency is the biggest and then plus how do you store storage cost is very high solar storage cost you have to store this solar storage cost is very high very 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 high one second wind karte hain wind mein what is the issue in wind majorly what is the issue height is an issue the higher your windmill the higher your power the higher your windmill the higher your efficiency the higher power you generate but height increase ki wajah se what what happens cost also increases very high cost plus windmills require a lot of space windmills require a lot of space so land availability is a big issue this is one theek hai now what is the common issue for them both common issue for both of them is ppa renegotiations are happening ppa renegotiations are happening so even with earlier fares now they want new tariffs earlier tariffs now they want new tariffs etc so many uh, problems are there here then what about hydro energy i am not writing there hydro energy me what do you think hydro panic energy me what are the issues water flow is low right so hydro chalo likh hi lete tum log bhi bologe kya sir itna likh do hydro water flow is low installation cost is high installation cost is high uh theek hai now uh what is the solution for this there is no solution for intermittency there is no solution for intermittency so solution for this is actually you store so din bhar mein generate karo and then you store but storage cost is very high and that we need research and development so r&d is the solution for this research and development is the solution for this barabar land availability hai so land availability ka solution is offshore wind plants offshore means pani mein offshore means in water you know in water they float floating uh, uh this thing windmills floating windmills wind plants offshore windmills lagao but then obviously the disadvantage of that is the cost of transmission is very high because if they are on land you will be transmitting electricity very easily land pe hi hai when they are offshore wahan se transmission wires and everything has to be laid down under the sea and all so transmission cost is very high this is very very simple to understand hai the, all these things are pretty self explaining right so what what one more solution we bring we bring one more solution क्या है इन दोनों का सोल्यूशन इज द सोल्यूशन इज की कंस्ट्रक्ट अ विंड मिल विंड मिल होता है कंस्ट्रक्ट अ विंड मिल एंड इंस्टॉल फोटोवोल्टेक पैनल्स ऑन द विंड मिल इट सेल्फ इंस्टॉल फोटोवोल्टेक पैनल्स ऑन द विंड मिल सो वॉट हैपन्स विंड भी जनरेट होता है इफ सन इज नॉट देर विंड इज देर विंड इज जनरेटिंग इफ सन इज देर इट विल ऑल्सो जनरेट सोलर पावर सो वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सोल्यूशन इज hybrid so so we have a national hybrid wind solar policy yeah for that we have a national hybrid wind solar policy we have a national hybrid wind solar policy we have something we have a scheme called as pm kusum i will mention this in agriculture sector also or agriculture lecture also किसान ऊर्जा सुरक्षा एवं उत्थान महाभियान कुसुम किसान ऊर्जा सुरक्षा एवं उत्थान महाभियान महाअभियान सो व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू हियर इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू एनकरेज फार्मर्स टू यूज सोलर एनर्जी sir how will farmers use solar energy they use pumps to draw water out of the wells so we say that use solar powered pumps one second very important thing install rooftop solar on your uh, home or if you have a barren land so if you have a field where you are you know doing farming but that patch of the field is barren where nothing grows nothing 
install photo photo uh, this thing uh, photovoltaic cells there generate solar energy and use that to connect to the grid so you can be a seller of electricity also you are generating electricity use it to your home chalo you used it to your home on your own field you are generating electricity solar and you are using it to power your home excess power if you have see you don't have uh, money for buying storage capacity and all cannot do that you are a small farmer excess capacity you have connect to the grid state ka jo line se connect there we will give you money for each and every unit you uh, give surplus to the grid we will give you money government is saying theek okay? hai so grid connected solar energy is also encouraged under pm kusum scheme theek okay? hai what is the issue what is the solution for intermittency the solution is that the solution is that base load whatever is required minimum sabke ghar pe some lights and some fan is the minimum load right base load whatever base load is required you have to supply through your coal energy thermal energy uske upar ka requirements can be satisfied by solar energy okay so bundling of conventional and non conventional energy that is the solution so base load obviously has to be base load has to be satisfied by a very efficient very continuous or a very a predictable source of energy these are not predictable these are dependent on nature especially solar wind to fir bhi at high elevations you have wind geography hai na wind patterns chalte rehte bundling of conventional and non conventional sources that is one that is one way of doing it ठीक है देन देर इज वन स्कीम विच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग उजाला उजाला स्कीम उन्नत ज्योति बाय अफोर्डेबल एलईडीज फॉर ऑल सो दिस इज बेसिकली एलईडी स्कीम दिस शुड नॉट कम यूर वाई एम आई राइटिंग इट यूर लेट इज राइट इट यूर Ujala to increase energy efficiency. LED scheme. Ten star rating to increase energy efficiency. I am writing one more scheme here. Purposefully, I am writing here Ujjwala. Ujjwala scheme. Ujjwala scheme is to replace the. non commercial sources and harmful sources of generating power like uh, wood firewood cow dung etc with electricity connection normal electricity connection if it is a rural area if you can't send electricity there then give them that uh, portable batteries and all of that you know portable geysers which generate heat and all ye sab de do if you know wires cannot be sent there but don't allow them to use or you know don't uh, make them use firewood and cow dung for electricity purpose at least in homes because they inhale that they inhale that especially mothers and children because farmers are working throughout the day on the farm only at night they come but mothers and children are there in the house so whenever dinner or lunch is cooked they inhale that smoke they inhale that soot and their lungs are damaged so that is why we have ujwala scheme replace replace firewood and other traditional sources see i am just preparing your notes and don't you don't you notice your pura aapka notes ho gaya hai whatever you, next you learn you read from newspapers current affairs you just have to add pages sirf pages add karne replace firewood and other traditional sources with safe power okay this is just for your understanding when you do schemes you will read about ujwala as well theek okay? hai let us come to telecom quickly these are all small small things that is why i am covering very quickly let us come to telecom telecom mein major part is covered in science and technology very 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 important science and technology 
so the uh, the instruction of indian government that only indian firms can participate in 5g auctions you know those towers and all 5g towers and all they require lot of equipment routers modems etc right so indian government is saying that for airtel jio vodafone for you to participate in 5g auctions or if you want 5g auction if you want 5g spectrum then you should use only those routers and everything made by indian companies and not chinese companies or made by non chinese companies right so all that comes under science and tech mainly so 5g hai especially example 5g one issue i would like to tell is it is a old issue now two years ago ka issue hai ye so abhi just to cover something in telecom agr issue it is called as adjusted gross revenue issue adjusted gross revenue issue agr adjusted gross revenue issue now what is adjusted gross revenue issue agr okay adjusted gross revenue so i'll give a brief whenever uh, spectrum auctions happen whenever so what is the raw material of vodafone or raw material of jio spectrum which it sells to you sells to you means it allows you to access the network na phone network that is known as spectrum theek okay? hai there are different bands 5 gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz i hope science mein it will be covered okay so when these auctions are made one of the criteria is whatever whatever revenue these companies earn some part of it has to go as royalty to the government because they are using these spectrums of the government these are national asset spectrum is a national asset right these all network structures and all the waves imagine you can speak with anyone at any time from any place in the country that is a national asset those waves are national assets you cannot see them but they are there right so the condition is normally that the telecom companies have to give certain percentage of their revenue to government as royalty now the point is ki what constitutes revenue only phone call revenue hoga ya internet service is also called revenue or sms service is also called revenue because all these companies earn via the use of sms internet what we use right so theek hai so one can say that telecom services all telecom services can be considered as revenue call sms internet and other value added services caller tune and all those astrology and all those things are also there what about if vodafone let's say bought a land for 1 lakh 2 years ago and sold today at 2 lakh rupees it made a profit of 1 lakh what about that extra 1 lakh is it also revenue us pe bhi jayega yes or no that was the question uh, in front of supreme court and supreme court said that सब कुछ होगा एवरीथिंग वुड बी इंक्लूडेड एनी रेवेन्यू अर्न बाय द टेलीकॉम कंपनी बी टेलीकॉम रेवेन्यू और अदर रेवेन्यू अर्न बाय अ टेलीकॉम कंपनी उसका सम पार्ट विल वॉज रॉयल्टी सो दिस वॉज द इश्यू विद दिस इज द एजीआर इश्यू एडजस्टेड ग्रॉस रेवेन्यू इशू यू कैन रीड अबाउट इट यू कैन गूगल एंड रीड अबाउट इट बट इट इज वेरी ओल्ड नाउ अभी समथिंग टू राइट दैट इज आई हैव रिटर्न दिस वन इशू इज वन वेरी वेरी फेयरली एक्सेप्टेड इशू इज प्रेडेटरी प्राइजिंग predatory pricing and this was introduced by jio predatory pricing means absolutely low prices ultra low prices do you know you can get 1 gb of data in as low as 10 rupees now what about when we were children or what about 8 years ago 7 8 years ago 5 years ago costs were pretty high i mean in 90s or 2000s to it was 10 rupees for 1 minute of call just imagine 10 rupees for 1 minute of call aise lag raha hai we are speaking to someone in us but within local call also 10 rupees for 1 minute that was the rate and now virtually in 150 rupees per month we get data plus sms plus free calling 3000 minutes or 6000 minutes kuch hote hai but utna to anyways then utna if you use then you going to commercial sphere na call centers and all if you use utna to unke rates are different their rates are different so virtually free free means virtually unlimited minutes you are getting in 150 rupees plus data plus sms 150 200 whatever is the plan 149 ka to every every carrier has plan so this was introduced or this was started by jio 
and this is called as predatory pricing. So this is an issue. Why, sir, it is an issue? See, if telecom companies don't earn, telecom companies don't earn, where will they cut their cost? Network quality. Yes or no? See, they cannot raise their revenue because if one company will raise their revenue, every subscriber will go to the other company. If today Vodafone raises their cost, what will happen? Everyone will buy Jio and other Airtel and other companies. So, cost raise nahi kar sakte. Uh, revenue ra cannot be raised. Price cannot be raised. Where will they earn profit from? Either they will go on mounting losses and losses and finally shut down and cost win balance sheet problem. But banks will not let that happen because banks also know ki inki to what lagi hai. Other option is that uh, they can compromise on quality and costs and network quality. And that is why we, we see nowadays, do you notice sometimes in the past 2-3 years, network quality has also deteriorated, at least in very dense areas. Delhi, Mumbai, dense areas, network quality has deteriorated. This is because of primarily two reasons. One, illegal towers are removed. Earlier, illegal towers were there on top of most buildings, but they were removed because they were illegal and they might pose some health hazards also. They were illegal. They are removed. So, when towers are removed, your network quality drops because you don't have sufficient quality waves generating in towers. That is one reason. Second reason is because of increasing density of mobile phone. Today, everyone has so many people have one or two, two, two numbers to hey. Okay, one number to that is a very long achievement. Very uh, achievement we achieved a very long time ago. But many people have two numbers, some have three numbers also. Density is very high. That is also causing network problems. But why is density high? Why are they able to afford two numbers? Predatory. Okay, this is the issue with telecom mainly. Other than that, science and tech mein telecom is currently important. All these. Uh, uh, 5G with 5G coming and all. Right? So now I want you I want to tell you some overall overall strategies for infrastructure. What are we doing overall to boost infrastructure? Overall strategies. There are some overall strategies we have for infrastructure. First and foremost is the National Infrastructure Pipeline, NIP, National Infrastructure Pipeline, NIP, worth 111 lakh crores. In some sources, you will find 102 lakh crores. Then further projects were also uh, issued, that is why it is 111 lakh crores, funded by central government state government, private companies or private sector, okay. Central government 39, state government 40, sec private sector 21. Ye kya hai sir? National infrastructure pipeline is nothing but a list, nothing but a list of projects which we are going to construct in the next 8-10 years list of projects Ki this road would be constructed here this railway sec would be constructed here dedicated freight corridors we have spoken about right this is national infrastructure pipeline so all projects energy projects road projects rail projects other projects shipping projects aviation projects sabka ye list national infrastructure pipeline now what are the issues with respect to this obviously funding where will funding come from asset quality is low labor is not available. These are all common issues. See, when you read newspapers and current affairs, na, some common issues you will come to know which are everywhere in government policies. Right? What are the positives of this? We have a plan, we have a proper blueprint where to move ahead. This will create crowding in also. Remember crowding in when infrastructure projects are announced, private people get business, private companies get business, LNT and all, they get business. So when they get business, they start buying new machinery, hiring more people, investment increases. So that those are the benefits. Second, Second, special economic zones. SEZ, special economic zones. What are special economic zones now? We have identified, pay attention here, we have identified certain spots of the country, certain areas we have, physical, geographical areas we have reserved 
that if you open a manufacturing sector there, if you open a manufacturing company there, for all practical purposes, that territory will be treated as a foreign country. Sir, kya bol rahe ho? See, this is India. Thik hai? Thik hai? This is India. So, let's say we reserve this area. We reserve this area. We reserve this area. Any organization, any manufacturing company, this is for boosting manufacturing infrastructure, this is for boosting manufacturing. Any, any area, any company, sorry, any area uh, which is saved exclusively for boosting manufacturing and boosting exports. The intention is to boost exports, okay. That area is delineated and whoever sets an industry there, now obviously small players will not come, big players will come. Whoever sets the industry there, they are treated as that though that area is treated as a foreign area. For all practical purposes, this is a foreign area. And we have tax discounts which are given here, tax rebates are given, Elect electricity access is readily available, water access is readily available. What all do you need? What all do you need? You need electricity, you need property for that, right? Registration of property is done easily. So, we are reserving some areas for some purposes. This is for boosting exports and manufacturing. This is for boosting exports and manufacturing. Special economic zones. They are under SEZ Act 2005. Special economic zones. SEZ Act 2005. Information is there in the books. Very, very self-explanatory. Bahut self-explanatory. Very self-explanatory. Similarly, similarly, we have certain zones for encouraging manufacturing for use in India, not for outside India, for use in India, some industrial zones. So, you know, raw material processing output industries all are located at one place that is called as NIMZ. That is called as NIMZ, National investment and manufacturing zones nimz national investment and manufacturing zones these keep on appearing in monthly compilations i'll be very honest with you information about these are readily available if you follow monthly compilations regularly of santosh sir you will you will uh, you know get to know about this I would suggest you follow monthly compilation of Santosh sir. They are more comprehensive than vision or any other material. They are good. Vision and all are good. No doubt. But Santosh sir, what he does is, he takes all the sources available. He also sees vision and all, what they are covering, whether they have missed something or not. And all information you will find in one place. Hence, I would suggest at least go through Santosh sir's monthly compilations. And then if you find time, which you won't, if you find time, you can cover anything else also. National investment and manufacturing zones. Then you have, remember we saw Sagarmala where port-led development we saw in shipping and all. That is coastal economic zone. These are all infra, infra things only, na? coastal economic zone. Last point is very important. So, I have kept it for the last. Coastal economic zone. Okay, coming to the last point, coming to the last point or before that one more point. Boosting MSMEs, sir, what are MSMEs? Boosting MSMEs, what are MSMEs? Micro, small, medium enterprises, micro, small and medium enterprises. Micro, small and medium enterprises, MSME, micro, small and medium enterprises. This is very important. Micro, small and medium enterprises. Boosting MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises. Micro means very tiny, teeny tiny. My small means little bit bigger, but still small. Medium means medium, not large. Sir, why are MSMEs more important? I'll tell you why. 
are msmes more important or large industries more important msmes are more important because they are the large industries of tomorrow they are the see sabse zyada pyar who gets the most love babies or adults see the age who gets more love if one is 2 year old they will get most love one is 10 year old they will also get love but little less when one becomes 20 year old after 21 what happens you go do what you want we don't know you parents say this right similarly most love should be given to msmes why why it contributes 30% of gdp msme contributes 30% of gdp just imagine value of all goods and services produced in the economy 30% come from msme one third hai msme it contributes half of country's exports 50% of exports so important msmes 50% of exports we need to boost msmes okay there are many schemes for boosting msmes you will read that in current or in schemes part okay, why i am why i am not covering them is because then already wo double ho jayega course duration and anyways you are going to study schemes separately dedicatedly for social justice and many schemes have a social aspect and an economic aspect so to teach all the entire schemes here would be equivalent or akin to taking a lot of social justice portion also right if you want i can teach that but then that will be social they will be social justice lectures and not economy lectures okay now i am going to teach you something which will which is very common which is very important which every aspirant should know how can infrastructure increase one thing i am asking you how can it, do we want to increase gdp yes what do we want to increase c plus i plus g plus x minus n forget g for now because g is coming only when others are not working very properly if you want to increase c if you want to increase i if you want to increase x x minus m means x he increase karna hai exports increase karna hai what do you need do are you sufficient with indian money or do you need foreign money also we need foreign money also we need others to open and set up shop here we need their investment because when they will come 10000 people they will employ at one go and similarly multiplier effect will happen i told you other countries are also investment destinations how to make india very attractive what do you think what they see the ones who are looking actually to come and do business in india they actually want to come set up their shop dukan khol ke they want to sit at the cash counter and they want to do business in india what will they see what all will they see can i say they will see can i say they will see how easy it is to get electricity yes they will see this if electricity access is very difficult or let's say they are seeing in which state or which part of india should you start business why most of the businesses are concentrated in metro states uh, metro cities getting electricity and all we have infrastructure ready here yes or no getting electricity they will see theek hai they will see how easy it is to start a business don't you think starting business all the permits and all licenses and all basically they will see how easy it is to get construction permits they want to construct their building what else what else will they see they will see how easy it is to uh, it is to trade across borders import export how easy it is if if we have a lot of capital controls or you know lot of current account controls sorry lot of current account controls what will happen trading across borders become difficult so can i say they will see trading across borders what else will they see how easy it is to get credit getting credit getting money if it is very difficult they will not start here start a business here getting credit okay how easy it is to pay taxes here whether they are whether government is unnecessary going in litigation unnecessary demands hai search vodafone and knk cair and knk 
paying taxes how easy it is to pay taxes what else will they see will they see how easy uh, how, how easy it is to resolve insolvency how good the insolvency laws are because tomorrow if i want to shut down my business resolving insolvency just imagine you are understanding all these words remember i told you economics is a language we are understanding all these words now credit insolvency taxes uh baki electricity is of the normal words eh? what else they will see how easy it is to register property construction to yahan aa gaya registering property what else will they see will they see how easy it is to enforce contracts so you enter a contract with a customer or a vendor how easy it is to get um, legal remedy if contracts are not enforced so if your vendor doesn't pay you or if your customer or if your vendor doesn't supply goods or if customer doesn't pay you how easy it is to access courts basically accessing justice but we are in business terminology so enforcing contracts what else ultimately how easy or how better i can protect my investors what are the laws in india that protect me what are the laws in india that protect my money tomorrow government will come and take away my property not good right investor protection because when i am investing in india i am bringing five my friends here if they don't get good treatment we don't get good treatment we are investors investor protection see all this in terms of money and ease of doing business huh? it is not personal or moral or political nothing it is all economic and business and commercial in nature okay so every country in the world is ranked on these parameters just imagine every country is in the world is ranked on these parameters and a rank is given and an index is given it is called as ease of doing business this is called as ease of doing business and this is released by world bank world bank ease of doing business world bank ease of doing business every country so a country which has a high ranking on this total average lete hain and they do that a country which has a high ranking on this will it earn more investment or less investment it will attract more investment yes or no so all that we study in infrastructure you know reducing logistics cost reducing uh, problems in roads and all that will all help in ease of doing business yes or no this is the ultimate aim right at the same time this should not be the only aim because maybe you maybe you are easing credit but itna easy ho gaya ki anyone can take credit and do fraud ठीक है सो दिस इज अ गुड मेट्रिक फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बट नॉट एट सोशल कॉस्ट और पॉलिटिकल कॉस्ट और एनवायरमेंटल कॉस्ट फॉर इज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस यू विल से कटिंग ट्रीज इज वेरी इजी कंस्ट्रक्शन परमिट्स एनी वन कैन टेक अरे बट यू आर डिस्ट्रॉइंग एनवायरमेंट सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट ओनली एंड नॉट फॉर अदर रीजन सो दे शुड बी अ बैलेंस बिटवीन दीज थिंग ठीक है आई वॉन्ट यू टू फाइंड आउट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर होमवर्क what is india's rank in the latest ease of doing business ease of doing business india rank latest that is your homework and write it here latest and also see the trend trend in last five reports kya kuch improve hua hai ya nahi hua hai i will be sending across a marked copy of industry and infrastructure chapter to you just go through it once no need to make a note of anything at all go through it once see the main thing we have to read is coming years economic survey which will come in january theek okay? hai but agriculture and infrastructure chapter these are two chapters which i want you to go through now only when you prepare so that you are prepared for that economic survey which will be studying in entirety pura pura hoga but agree and infra are two chapters which i want you to read this year survey also just read just read aag ban karke just read ignore all the graphs charts maybe some interesting graphs if you find like ease of doing business pe there are graphs 
so i will not show it to you in the lecture i will be sending it across so agri infra pay uh, whatever graph you are uh, having sorry uh, ease of doing business pay whatever graph you are having you will find that in the chapter so you will find the rank also in the chapter itna hint de diya maine theek hai so what do we fare best on we fare best on investor protection ka gaya we fare best on investor protection this is our best ranking huh? our best ranking why do we fare best on investor protection because we have very strict laws to protect our shareholders companies act i told you companies act 2013 uh, takes care of companies that law is very strict when it comes to investor protection hence we have the best rank here we rank 13th in the world on investor protection on investor protection overall nahi bata raha ठीक है गेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज आर सेकेंड बेस्ट गेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज आर सेकेंड बेस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल द पॉलिसीज विच वी हैव सीन उज्ज्वला सौभाग्य स्कीम डीडी यू जी जे वाई ऑल दोज थिंग्स गेटिंग क्रेडिट इज आर थर्ड बेस्ट आरबीआई इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द पॉलिसी लेवल वेरी नाइसली राइट What is the worst? Where are we worst? That is a question. We are worst in starting business. We are the worst in starting business. We are the worst in registering property. we are the worst in resolving insolvency nay no, not resolving insolvency we are the worst in enforcing contracts this is the biggest kahan gaya this is the biggest hindrance huh? this is our worst performer we are performing worst here enforcing contracts why because our courts take tarikh pe tarikh tarikh pe tarikh you know our high courts our supreme courts take a long time 5 years 10 years and we have seen bilateral investment treaty isds clause investor state dispute settlement clause problem worst so these are our key improvement areas and these are what we are doing best baki beech mein average Okay, you read this energy chapter. Okay, you read this energy chapter. Don't go through it in too much detail. There are. there are some technical terms here it's okay if you don't understand read this chapter go through it uh, you will understand quite a few things based on our discussion and way forward it's a very small chapter theek hai many things are given but i want you not to not to um, take too much of stress too much of burden over this just go through it once if you find something interesting which you can understand then very good if you don't understand then forget it we have covered energy in quite detail that we know of right so we have covered or we have completed with the investment and infrastructure chap part of it we have completed investment models also so let me speak about the sources for these things sources point 9 infrastructure that we just did point 9 economic survey infra in, there is a separate chapter on uh, infrastructure in economic survey plus newspapers plus obviously my notes my lectures are there plus selected chapters from india at 75 niti ayog document we saw roads airports and all india at 75 niti ayog document 
प्लस संतोष सर करंट अफेयर्स पॉइंट टेन एवरीथिंग एक्सेप्ट सिलेक्टेड चैप्टर दिस विल अप्लाई हर ऑल्सो राइट एंड मोर ऑन एंड ऑब्वियसली स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस बुक इज देयर तो स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस बुक तो है ही प्लस स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस बुक दिस इज सच अ डाइवर्स टॉपिक दैट यू हैव टू रेफर ऑल दीज सोर्सेस बट प्लीज अवॉइड रेपिटेशन अवॉइड रेपिटेशन सो इफ यू हैव रेड अबाउट पीपीए इशू एंड वेन यू कम अक्रॉस इट अगेन इन द बुक जस्ट स्किप दैट सी वेदर एनी न्यू थिंग इज देयर और नॉट स्किप दैट Your challenge in point nine and ten would be consolidation. It is your job to consolidate, right? So maybe you can take reference book as a base and write everything there, or maybe you can attach these lecture notes to that, or the chapters which I'll be sending you: roads, uh, surface transport, energy, and all. You can just mark the keywords, and I will be sending the marked copy only. But apart from that, if you feel anything is important, just mark it. and then attach it with it keep it at one place please keep it at one place do not scatter it here and there theek okay? hai and current affairs would be taken care of by santosh sir and then uh, this all we have discussed right so we have completed with the infrastructure chapter we have completed with point 9 and point 10 finished right we have done that we'll start with agriculture pretty soon i hope you like the infrastructure investment part most of it is current based most of it is um, very dynamic that is why you have to read and most of it is self explanatory unless some technical terms are required since more questions come from energy section of it we have devoted more time to it other than that road railways is very simple just know what are the issues four five issues if you by heart road related four five issues railway related four five issues aviation related four five issues logistics related four five issues four five issues you have to by heart and then rest and four five solutions you have to by heart and baki sab bhul that is the way to do this less questions come if questions come they come from energy sector or once in a while from some other things but yes investment models is a technical thing so we have discussed that in detail in the previous lecture i hope you found this useful please keep on revising if you have any doubt you can approach me anytime thank you so much i'll see you in the next lecture